today is a day it is december 24th in the manana oh my bones my brittle bones my brittle bones hey dab merry christmas eve to you how are you doing today welcome in good eve morning good eve morning how do you feel how do you feel merry christmas eve i feel good you know for once i don't feel tired which is quite surprising to be honest because one i woke up an hour ago but also i don't feel tired and that's abnormal that's just abnormal doesn't seem right that seems a little bit weird to me but how was yesterday how was time spending with family hopefully it was good <clears throat> uh, uh you're a little tired and have some cleaning to do before tomorrow because i want my room clean before christmas if that's not me i've been cleaning all day so i've been in the same boat <clears throat> Wowza, my throat. I need to. It's already Christmas here. How do you feel? How's your holidays? Uh, it was fun. We played Cards Against Humanity Family Edition. What does Family Edition even mean? Wholesome and not chaotic? Or just the same but with family? <laughs> Daff Daff, Merry Christmas Eve to you. I cannot literally believe it is Christmas Eve. It's going to be Christmas tomorrow. It's a wild. Oh, but cleaner. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> Sonic, welcome in. How are you? Rock Rose, hello. Good morning. Hello. Merry Christmas Eve. A bit cleaner. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So I'm very happy today because today we get to play with the Pancakes household again, which I feel happy about. But this time around, we're actually playing surviving the holidays scenario with them. And that should be chaotic. Uh, you went to brunch and now I'm so full. Brunch. Wait, aren't you an hour like, are you a, an hour ahead of me? An hour before. That was like brunch. Nine o'clock in the morning. You got a record player for Christmas. Ooh. Any fun? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what artists to buy it from first i know olivia rodrigo has records already out um i think taylor swift no it was adele adele and olivia rodrigo is all i know this billy ocean a bunch of other ones i've i've known but you know go with what you feel like <laughs> i just know there's like a few and i'm glad you're doing really good sonic uh are you feeling warm chilly cold on this fine morning i'm trying to stay as chill as possible because right now it is currently 54 degrees outside yesterday it was 69 or that was 32 it hasn't snowed at all in my area like not even one bit and i'm okay with that i hate the snow or more like breakfast you know breakfast brunch dinner whichever have you whatever you prefer whatever you prefer it's so good oh it's 10 for you you're an early bird you know early bird catches the worm as i always say and good morning inquisitive swan how are you you're actually sick oh i hope you feel better being sick during the holidays is not great Definitely drink a lot of water if you have to. Drink some tea with honey. It always helps. And Tyler, hello. The high is 79. That sounds illegal. 
it snowed here last night. Is it, was it too much snow or like, just like little snow? Like, did it stick? I know that these days snow hasn't been sticking this year, at least from what I've heard. And I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> so Illinois doesn't get it either. Cause um, usually around this time we get snow and it's snow that's like a few inches. Like, luckily it hasn't been doing that today. <laughs> Yay for living in the South. Yay for living in the Midwest too, cause this snow is inconsistent. This weather is inconsistent. Like two inches, not bad. Oh, okay, good. That's good. It's your first snowfall. Oh wow. Well, hopefully you're enjoying it. You wish it snowed in your area? No, you don't. Mm -mm. Snow is awful. <laughs> I mean, if you have a car and it snows really bad, you gotta shovel that stuff off your car. And your car is cold when you get in. You gotta shovel your driveway and the sidewalk where you live. And like the bottom of your driveway so you can get out. And if they don't, you know, salt your like side of the road in your neighborhood, it's just awful. It's even worse. Cause like where my parents live every single year, they don't salt like our, the road where the road that we live on. And uh, it's so kind of bad. And then we have to shovel the snow off of our sidewalk and our driveway and our cars. So it's like, it's, it's uh, not good. But as soon as we get off of our street and turn to the next street, it's all sh salted and snowed and like, I mean, snow plowed, which is so weird. Because what's funny, on our road, school buses go on that road. And when it snows, it's like, you gotta shovel it, you know? Weird. You just snow here where you live, 30 degrees Celsius on average, oof. You want snow here? Dab, are you good? After what happened in February, you hate snow? Yes. Mm-hmm. In your area, you've got lots of snow and really bad wind. Ooh, God, that's chilly. So every time it snows on the road, it's bound to be terrible. Yeah. It's just like slushy snow, like that brown looking snow. Mm-mm. Cassandra, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. Good morning, good morning. Like snow is pretty to look at, but but you hate it? Yeah, it's pretty to look at, but not to go into. Like, I don't know about you, but when I look at the snow in the morning, I feel like I've gone blind because it's too white and it's pretty, but it's like my eyes hurt. I can't. <laughs> I'll send snow your way. Give it to Dab, not me, because we live like one state apart. And I'm like, I'm not ready for that. She can have all the snow she wants, not, not for me. I don't want it. <laughs> You have a stomach ache. I hope you feel better. Stomach aches are not good. Not good. But I'm doing really good today. We're just kind of playing catch up today before we hop into the game. We're gonna be playing the surviving the holiday scenario with the pancake family. I thought it'd be kind of fun to add in a child into the mix and uh, see what we can definitely do. It's more crunchy than anything. Oh. Yeah, it's like very hard snow. I get what you mean. It's not fun. Can't believe it's Christmas tomorrow. It's so weird. It's kind of weird that it's Christmas tomorrow. I cannot believe this. Ah, <laughs> Dad, you can have my snow too. <laughs> like, thank you. Oh, what? Sims must be able to relate to other. Oh my, you know what? I know, I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. I did this wrong. <laughs> I did it wrong. Hold up. I need to make, I'm going to make these two unrelated. I think because there's a child in the household. These two aren't married because I already got them divorced in a different scenario I played. So we're going to take out Iggy Pancakes, give it to his grandmother, save the game. We're going to go to back to main menu. Crunchy. It can be fluffy, but mostly when it's as fallen. Yeah, that is true. 
Okay, so it says the description. Two Sims who hate each other, Bob and Eliza, are stuck living together due to unconventional, wait, convoluted backstory involving some gnomes and real estate scams. Um, and both are too stubborn to move out. In the spirit of the season, will they find a way to mend their differences or at least find some way to make the situation more bearable to get through the holidays? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Probably not. Um, does it melt in your hands like in movies? Sometimes, not all the time. I'm sorry, excuse me? What? Why? Two Sims are young adults. That's what they are. Sims must not be related to each other. What? I don't want to start a whole new one. I guess I can't play the scenario what's in my current save file, which is quite icky. Savvy, welcome in. You're downloading CC. Very good. We love to see it. Sims will start the scenario as en en enemies with grudges against each other. Hmm. See, what I want to do, you know, I'm going to start a new save. I'm just going to start a new save regardless. It's way easier. It's way easier this way since so I'm messing my old. There's no snow here, and I'm in the northeast Brazil. It's hot every day, and the, pr the problem is when it rains. Yeah not fun not fun at all our new save it's fine this is what i do certainly have one eye open because i'm being tired i'm waking up a few minutes ago yeah not great so i feel you on that part but hopefully you know that rest doesn't you know you know hopefully you're not too too tired because being tired is not always great. Also, now it wants to work. Oh, okay, good. Look, we got Bob and Eliza. I'm going to add in their, their parents into the save because apparently it only works that way. Oh, and I can't have a child? Fine, I got to delete the child. I got to re-add in the child. I'm going to make it work. And uh, drop my phone on my face. Uh, not, not, not the phone. And it's raining for you. Oh no, not the. Rain. I thought I saw play with existing sim option. Yes. Okay. So the reason why that is not happening for me right now is because I don't know why. I took out their child. They aren't. Technically, I don't know. For some reason, it just didn't work for me. I took out their child, which they are related, so I had to take them out. And then Bob and Eliza aren't related because they're not married. That's really weird. Yeah, it's fine all over winter time um poor child elena lulu patchy welcome in how are you doing today sims 4 be difficult it'd be like that sometimes which is sad okay we're gonna do free real estate we're gonna move them back into their old house because easier that way i was like i'm sorry excuse me i'm over here real second there's gonna be a lot of maneuvering around today and then it's going to be actual gameplay. <laughs> See how that goes. Uh, you really try to be different and it doesn't work in your favor. All household sims are friends without even with any negative sentiments. Two household sims are ro romantically involved as enemies with benefits. I'm sorry, that's not it. Erica, welcome in. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve to anyone in the world. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I thought it'd be very fun to spend the holidays or the semi-holidays with you all on this morning very early because, you know, it's just that time of day. 
It really... My households? Mm-mm. Not this household. Y'all being deleted. You got to go. Goodbye. Goodbye, old pancakes. Where are you? Where are you at anyway? I'm going to have to delete you. Pancakes, don't be shy. I know you're here. Going to delete you. Oh, here they are. Goodbye. <laughs> Leave the old ones with the new ones. Let's move them out to this new. Their old house with new Sims. I'm going to add in their child and their grandparents or just their parents is easier. You know? You're doing awesome making some cookies. Ooh. What kind of cookies are you making? Anything in particular? Hopefully it's really good. So. <laughs> you live over here in this household. Trip cabana. And then I'm going to have to add in their child. So I'm going to have to move them into this old household. Oh. Oh yeah, it's easy. Move in. Move in household. Yes. Delete the... Oh, I know which ones they are. Okay, it's the ones without the gear. But now I can. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I've done goofed. Casually deleting them with your... <laughs> your giggly. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. I need to take out the one that's not wearing. What if I go into the game? I want to know which one's wearing their appropriate attire. Because that way I can de delete the other one. Kimmy, welcome in. Good morning. So not an existing family, but an existing save. Yeah. Oh my, you've got to be kidding me. Oh my Lord. They're all. Well, who's related to who then? Wait a minute. I've done goof with the save. Bob's alone. This Liza, that one's alone, that one. Okay, so it's these two that are a part of, but I wonder, I wonder, you go here, you go here, you both go here. Then these two are the ones that we made. These two are the ones I'm going to delete. Maintain sim, delete sim. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh. The scenario is now come is created. We did it, besties. Ha ha ha. <laughs> uh, you're making sugar cookies and gingerbread. Ooh, well, that's exciting. We love gingerbread. I also love sugar cookies the most. Twins, double the fun, double the chaos. Not today. Hey, I can't do it. Okay. Um, that is how we play Surviving the Holidays. Just delete your Sims. It's the only way, right? Right? Went over, okay, Xavier Humphrey or Xavier Pancakes. And then invite over uh, Allison Humphrey. Why are they doubled? Because I had to delete one or the other to actually make the scenario work in my favor. Oh, the joys of not setting up the save way before. I should have done that, but I didn't do that. And now to like add in their relationships and everything. Choose a sim, Eliza. That's Eliza as Allison's daughter. Yes. And then Xavier should pop up at some point. Here he is. Here's Xavier Pancakes, Bob's father, the evil twin. <laughs> You're eating some chocolate. Ooh. What kind of chocolate? Done. There we go. There we go. Now we've done it. Now we fixed the game the way it's supposed to be. In my eyes, at least. In my eyes, it should be this way. Where Bob and Eliza have parents. And they came over for the holidays, but Bob and Eliza have to survive the holidays and tolerate each other. <sighs> Lordy Lou, the joys of The Sims 4, am I right or am I right? Tisk tisk, save the game. 
I don't have 2 billion save files. I don't. Anyway, regardless of all that chaos, how are you all feeling for these days? <sighs> okay, sure, 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 sure. No, no, no. <laughs> I think you do. No, 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 no. Not at all. Nothing of the sorts. I don't have two billion saves. What do you mean? Eliza has a mother. She's right there. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, wait, hold up. Where's Iggy? Iggy. Iggy Azalea. That's how I describe. Oh, that's funny. That's Eliza's as Iggy's mother. Yes. Now it's all connected. There we go. This is better. Here's the family tree. My cat is laying on me. Oh no, kitty. Kitty. That reminds me of um Boo from Monsters Inc. Calling calling Mike uh not Mike, but Sully Kitty. I love it. Memories. <gasps> Another Christmas movie that's not really Christmas. Monsters Inc. Kind of not really, you know, if you describe it like that. But anyway, to give you all an introduction of all the Sims we have here today, we have Eliza's mother, Allison Humphrey. I figured Eliza's last name would be Humphrey. And then we have Xavier Pancakes, which is Bob's father. So that is uh, him, Xavier Pancakes, Allison Humphrey. They came over for the holidays. And I think it's appropriate to set the scene for the holidays it's winter time in the game, which is great. We do need a Christmas tree because it's appropriate. Decorating for the holiday seems great, right? <laughs> Iggy is enemies with Eliza and Bob, as it seems as it's as it should, honestly, because they've done him dirty and caused a ruckus in the household. He doesn't like either of them at all. Like, I don't like either of you all. You are both just icky. Icky. And that's what I wanted. I wanted that to happen. It just made perfect sense, right? It seems fitting. Icky hates his parents for what they did to him. Trauma. Trauma is what he feels like. Trauma? Special. Oh, that's the birthday anniversary. I'm going to go to Seasons. Uh, just milk chocolate, but it's very sweet and you love it. Oh, good. Milk chocolate. I've never really had chocolate before. Not a, you know, big fan because I'm lactose intolerant. Do I not have move objects on? Okay. These are good. I think this is more relaxing than doing it in Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing, I've abandoned that. I have abandoned my Animal Crossing and I don't want to wreak the terror of my villagers. Sims is better. There's no consequences. There's no consequences. Oh, magic Where's the, um... What do we need to do to get out of the kelp forest? That is true. That is true. Where is the, uh, here it is. He does need to reconcile with Bob at least. Yes. Only but Bob. Eliza, no. Eliza's, um, how will I put it? Ew. <laughs> you want to buy some chocolate? No, I shall do nothing. Uh, I think... Uh, pure bars with chocolate might be dairy free. Might they might be? I know there's like dairy dairy free chocolate, but I never really you know acknowledge those because I feel like they're just. I get scared. I'm like I don't think they're real. I think they're just playing tricks with me. <laughs> this seems appropriate, right? Yeah, three giant snowmen, snow people in front of your yard yeah seems great seems appropriate 
maybe there's some without. There are some. I've seen some. But I was always like skeptical. Like, mm, should I? Should I not? I don't know. I guess we'll find out and see. I had a dream that I was eating um, chocolate. But it was like walnuts and I can't have walnuts. And so it was like that was a scary time to experience in a dream. It was more of a nightmare in my humble opinion because I'm really allergic to that stuff. Not really good. When's the shell due? It's due on the 4th of January. So you have a long time to do it. We do tours on the 6th. 6th of January but do what do on the fourth. You're telling me this rug wasn't even the whole time. I feel uneasy. I feel unwell. You were trying to do a SpongeBob joke. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> do nothing. <laughs> but you're already sweet. So you don't need chocolate. That is true. I don't need chocolate because I'm already good enough i don't even need chocolate i don't even need sweets and regardless because i'm already just hyper enough hyperactive child commencing f5 Oops. i mean i don't have move objects so on that is a lie so that's better <laughs> uh are very low in lactose free the way it's made and aged the lactose gets broken down oh the more you know i don't think this belongs in here so we're not gonna put that in there we're gonna move everything down i really hope that you know this save works to my liking because what I wanted what I wanted to do originally with the save, with my other save, is that it was loved after a breakup. And then after they broke up, they had to survive the holidays. So that's what I wanted to do with that other save file that I was gonna play in. It went to work. So I was like, okay, it's fine. Because <laughs> in that other save, Iggy was a child instead of a toddler. There we go. So gigantic. So big. That's fine. There we go. That seems good enough. Right? So. Also get the holiday one. You gonna lurk for a bit to get some clean done? All good. Multitasking at its finest. Wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, that might be a mod I have installed. So it was like, I don't remember them organizing all the kits like that. Also, I realized I have the baby counter on. Oops. Nope, not like that. Uh, I have time to finish. Hopefully, I feel better soon. Yeah, I hope you. I hope you feel better soon. Cause being sick and just you know the holidays and all be very nerve-wracking for sure but yeah definitely i hope you have fun with it i can't wait to see what you do with it it'd be fun get a good uh no oregano that age that's not something cheap but labeled that okay i'll look for it in the stores one time i had gotten german chocolate from germany one time it was from my parents they ate it. I still need to do some cleaning. If you gotta clean, besties, I understand. You gotta prepare, you gotta cook, you gotta do anything. I understand too. I'm gonna provide some help. Fancy, fancy. I did all my cleaning last night. So am I ahead of the game or what? I think I am. I didn't do that much cleaning. I just did a lot of laundry in the span of two days. It wasn't that much. And then I just kind of swept, cleaned every single inch of my apartment. 
I was tired afterwards. I was very just tired. Very holiday-esque. Why did I not use this in my own shell challenge? I think I did, but I just didn't do it all the way. Jingle all the way, Christmas with the Cranks. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. <gasps> no, Christmas with the Cranks, but Christmas with the pancakes. Hold up, I'm not done decorating the house. I just had a really crazy idea. Wait, are you kidding me? I can't do it this way. I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? Winterfest. Let's set everyday decorations. Eves, holiday lights, fences, holiday lights. Everything will be holiday lights, fences, holiday lights. Fandrels can be like this, then that can be. I think that'll work. I don't know. Frosty, Proti, welcome in. How are you doing today? Merry Christmas Eve to you. Merry Christmas Eve. How are you feeling today? Hopefully you're doing good. What do you mean you can't get to it? It's right there. Eliza, thank you. Jeez Louise. Okay, Eliza's just doing the uttermost today. Oh, good. Cimarella, hey. Merry Christmas Eve and good morning. Good as always, that's good. We're playing, we're doing the surviving the holidays scenario with the pancake family. I think it's just appropriate to give, you know, the pancakes what they deserve. More so Bob, not Eliza, because Eliza's kind of trashy, kind of rude, kind of sus. So, hey. Wait, are we setting the scene? <gasps> we are. Oh my gosh, look at this. This looks so cool. The house is festive now. I'm not done decorating. <laughs> not yet. This is only the beginning. Only but beginning. Oh, we have so much more. <gasps> Ooh. Take off this. There we go. Didn't the Christmas with the Cranks movie have a little giant snowman on top of their house? That was ridiculous, by the way. That whole movie was wild, but it was hilarious. Heartless. Christmas with the pancakes. More festive lights. All the lights, all the garland. We must be festive all day, every day. I'm very surprised that I'm doing all of this, even though it doesn't need to be, but I just think it's appropriate, especially for our child, Iggy Pancakes. Yes. Christmas at the Pancakes. Less chaotic though. Kind of. Not really. Will they be wholesome? We don't know. We can only hope for the best that they will be. They need to tolerate each other for the sake of their child. Their child. I thought it was very funny when the Sims team added in a child into the Pancakes house. I started to question everything as to why is there a child in this household? Are they good? I was concerned for the child's well-being. Can't put this here. There. This thing is so gigantic I can't put it here. I'm gonna get a different TV. Prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Yes. Prepare for the worst, hope for the best. That it'll be, you know, somewhat decent. You can only hope for the best. We're preparing for the worst. Not that TV. Let's get this TV. For some reason, my move objects never wants to stay on. There we go. I thought Sammy was here for a second. No. Sammy's busy. You know what? Doing something. What if Eliza had a twin brother? 
but it was a good person unlike her. I wouldn't be surprised. I kind of want to do that for that other save file that we created a while back ago of adding in Eliza's long lost brother <laughs> into the mix because I think it'd be very funny of Eliza saying, I had a twin brother this whole time and you didn't tell me mother? Because Eliza and the other save lives with her mom. And I think it'd be very funny to do that. It's a good idea. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Savvy's just like, I'm I'm gone. Since you've been gone. I can't breathe for the first time. I'm holding on. Yeah, yeah. You but again. Get what I want. You've been gone. Um, anyway. <laughs> well, why buy it for seven dollars when you can make it yourself with ninety-two dollars in craft supplies? True. True. Half a point. I think Eliza would like a flock tree. A flock tree does seem like Eliza. What else could we add to this holiday scenario to make it more festive? Hmm. What do we have from seasons that we can add? We have a thermostat. That's good. We don't really need anything else, I don't think. That's seasons based. Oh, all these little decals. That make it very festive. I always forget there's there are different decals on the same decal every time. I always forget. The more you know, honestly, better. Dreidel, 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 made out of a clay. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Nutcracker. Oh, good. A U log. Oh, I forgot about the tool thing. Oh my gosh, that's right. I forgot. How I, how could I forget? You are correct. That is perfect for the fireplace. Yes. Oh, I love that. Hey, Peach, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope your day is going pretty well and swell and it's fine. Morning. I can't believe it's the morning. I'm an hour early. I'm an hour early. I hope that they end up making um, the, categori the categorization for that better. I believe I look at decor and then I go to the right here. Actually, it's like... It do fire. It should appear somewhere. Where is that tool? Here it is. Did I just type it? Oh, oopsies. Use it a lot now, so do I. I keep on forgetting that we actually have it because I we never had it before, but now that we do, it makes perfect sense. We need a Yule log from that new holiday update we got a while back ago. I think it's all in here. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be all in base game too. Well. <laughs> Merry Christmas Eve to you. Decorations? Oh, all the bows. Yes. Let's take this right here. Repair. Weird. But strange. A little bit strong. Put that up here. Put the bow in the middle. Size it up. And we have the bows that we can put on the wall. Ooh, the holiday shakers. Yes. What about the holiday shakers? Hey, Tabico. Merry Christmas Eve to you as well. Yeah, totally lurking. Lurk away. Do what you gotta do. Totally, totally understand. Okay, the other one should be in structures, I'm pretty sure. Mm, baby. The child. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I could have sworn. Oh, here it is. The holiday fruitcake. Eliza is the only one who would actually put this out. 
a holiday fruitcake. Is that pure evil? I don't even like fruitcake to begin with. Fruitcake is icky. That one I don't know the exact name. I always forget what they're always called half of the time. I know that they're going to eventually fix the categorization of the new holiday stuff at some point, but I just don't know when. But soon. <laughs> Probably next year, I would assume. It just seems more appropriate that way. Shake your holiday something. Yeah. Yeah, shake your holiday shakers. Oh, I even started putting these aprons in all of my builds in the kitchens because I think they're so cool. Imagine if your Sims actually wore the aprons. That'll be so cool if they did that. So nice. Uh, the other one. Oh, we got the bows. We got the aprons. I think it's a, a Yule log. Let's see, a log. I'm going to just type in the word log. That's a moss log. We have like a regular log log. Oh, and I forgot I was in base game. That's why. Work away. The resize aprons. It makes it look really nice, especially because if you have kids, you can pretend they have aprons on. It's like it's even cooler. Oh, the log display. Here it is. So we definitely need two of those. They're on top. Store these. This color. And then the hero wall, wall logo. No. We're going to switch out this whole thing here. Put that right there. I'm going to use the fire pit from Outdoor Retreat because I think it's needed for the outdoors. Looks cozier, you know? It's log of Yule something. Of. No, I don't see it. I couldn't tap in Yule. No. Log? It just might be. It's called log display. That you log? This thing? I think it's that one. Fire pit? Mm hmm Oh wait, you might be right. The gift of fire. Blue billion bonfire. Rocks of fire. This one's gigantic. Let's just get a small teensy tiny. A small one for the holiday. There we go. Like that. Very cutesy. Very teeny tiny. Perfect. I wonder if toddlers can sit on the logs too. Yeah, they can. They can sit on the logs. No issues. Last but not least, we gotta decorate the dining room. And then we gotta at least try and survive the holidays with Eliza pancakes. To the best of our ability. For the sake of Iggy, we gotta tolerate these Sims. Or he has to tolerate them. But get back in good graces with a uh, Bob. Gotta love your father. Not Eliza. Move the bow down. Move. That looks nice. Let's move that. Size up the bow even more. <laughs> Bowtastic. <laughs> there we go. That's nice. And we also got two new recipes. Ma'am, your house is not worth a hundred thousand simoleons. Don't lie. Oh my goodness! Simmering Rage? You have- who? Towards Bob? Oh no. Iggy cannot stand Bob. Lordy Lou. 
Honey Lou. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. All household sims are friends without any negative sentiments. So we gotta definitely work on that with uh, Eliza, Bob, and Nikki. All three of them. So many decorations. I love it. It makes me so happy. I wonder if I can try and get Eliza to decorate with Bob. We're going to do ooh, popcorn and cranberries. I've never done that before. Okay. So you all can tolerate. Decorate the tree together. But in order to have Iggy in here, we got to add in some toddler toys. I always forget they have a kid. They have a full-blown child. How is this possible? What's going on? A wabbit tap. Also need some little toysies. You need a little Blarfy action. Blarfy needs to be put into the holiday spirit, as always. Actually, we'll delete this. And then we need ourselves a nice toy. There you go. Yep, level three in cooking to make that one thing, and then level two. Level two in mixology to make the uh, the drink. Luckily for us, Bob. Oh, sir, we're gonna cheat your needs. Well, not needs, but your skills. Cheat your skills. Pay the bills. <laughs> I always forget. I added Bob and Eliza from a different save. I always forget about that. Cooking and gourmet cooking at level seven for both. Because he's just a very talented chef. I'm also going to give him the mixology one so he can make drinks for everyone at a certain level, which is where to go. Mixology. Oh, right here. I was like, I cannot see. Level four. There we go. Now Bob can make everything. Everybody hates Bob. New TV show coming out. Uh, coming out to a TV show network near you. Yes. If y'all don't decorate the Christmas tree. Oh, there they go. Oh, oh, Eliza. Eliza. Now, I know you can do it. Tolerate Bob. Tolerate him. Bob did all the work. You just sat there in agony and sadness. Eliza did nothing. She just complained the whole time. Oh my goodness. Cannot believe this. What's the objective of the scenario? So the objective of the scenario is try to get your Sims out of any negative sentiments they have towards each other. So you want them to be friends without any negative sentiments or like romantically involved without being enemies with benefits. Oh, wait, no, it says, yeah, all household sims are friends without any negative sentiment. So you can have them be friends or have the two household sims are romantically involved as enemy with benefits. So romantically involved, but make them enemies with benefits, not friends with benefits, because that's just not in the cards. It is very interesting, honestly. It is very interesting. Oh, she now wants to decorate and be civil for once. Did her mom literally just say, talk to the hand? I can't with this household. I literally can't. Her mom said, talk to the hand. I will not tolerate this buffoonery. Not today. Not ever. I cannot believe this. <laughs> at, least, at least Iggy is happy. Iggy is the only one that's happy in this household. With all of his skills. Eliza's just not it. She's like, I can't deal with this anymore. I can't deal with you. She's feeling very bitter. But luckily, though, they're still, like, not in the best, like, friendship-wise. So I'm trying to make them friends. So they can be civil when it comes to Iggy. We're going to put some things under the Christmas tree for Iggy. We've decorated the outside. Good for us gonna watch have Eliza come over here and be somewhat civil to her own child <laughs> at least Eliza please 
Eliza, please get a grip. Be civil. You're in a household with your with your child. Bob's just trying to be civil with towards you for the sake of Iggy. Iggy just wants to have a loving family. It's all he ever wants. Let's serve up some lunch of some clam chowder. And then later on tonight, get grab high chair. Uh, no. I can't give Iggy a drink at, at all. He has to be in a high chair. Oh, wait, what can you order? Hold up. I forgot we have the Sims delivery thing. You can order stuff. We go to our phone and we call up. Yeah, I think it's a service. Order delivery. You can order groceries, zoomies, numerous food delivery. Eliza would do this. She would literally order Christmas stuff because she doesn't want to cook herself. But also, she doesn't trust Bob. Look at Eliza being... Look at Eliza. She's horrible. Just hearing the drama, literally. The absolute audacity. Poke bowl. She's basically saying, Bob, you cannot cook. I don't want your cooking... I'm ordering Yorkshire pudding from Zoomies. Like, I can't tolerate you and your cooking, so I'm going to order some food online. And, um, yeah. So, um, I would like three Yorkshire puddings, please. Stat, my husband can't cook. Last time he cooked, he burned down the house. Like, we'll be right away. We'll be right there. Don't worry. Your meal will be here shortly. <laughs> I cannot believe their house looks exactly that. Oh, that's a nice screenshot. Kitty Glitch, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well. How's it been? Welcome to the Christmas with the pancakes. We got the pancake household being somewhat civil towards each other. We have Iggy pancakes, their child. We have Bob pancakes cooking up some clam chowder. And we have Eliza pancakes just being awful as ever. Welcome in. I'm glad that you're here. I hope your morning is going really great today. Are you going to be doing anything cool for the holidays? By any means? Can we actually turn on a Christmas network? Is it a possibility? I wonder if we can. We're going to enable the emotional aura. We're going to go to the Plum TV. The Fireplace Channel. Yes. The Fireplace Channel sounds delightful. You doing good? Oh, I'm so I'm glad you're doing good. I'm doing pretty swell as well. I've just been chilling for the most of the days today. Been working on some good things that I want to do next year. Trying to cry less. Uh, what y'all doing? Why are you so close to each other? What's going on? What's going on? Okay. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I've been trying to cry less next year trying to plan out my next year plans hopefully all things go according to plan for what i want to do nobody's around so i left your delivery on your lot oh well thank you i like that they're being uh nice and civil and social distancing <laughs> that's nice we're gonna unload the delivery bag but yeah it's christmas dab merry christmas eve there's a TV with an emotional aura. Yep, there is. There is indeed. I believe it is uh, feeling the heat from the TV because we have the Yule Log TV station on. But then I also think it might be the, the environment with having the TV on. I forget what emotional aura it does. If we have Iggy in here. I wonder what it does. But yep, there is indeed. Eliza has taken the contents out of the bag and put them in their inventory. Well, Eliza, if you would like to set up a table for a nice fancy setting for some triangles, that'd be nice. Oh, look at the unlockables. Yes. And welcome back from your lurk dab. Just having family over for the holidays, so cleaning like a crazy person. If that's not me, my parents are coming over later, think, I think later tonight, just to chill. And then tomorrow is like the full on thing. So I feel you on that. Hey, crying to the holidays, times are okay. Yeah, it's natural. 
it is definitely very natural to cry during the holidays. Mines are just more like stress crying. I cry because I'm always stressed out <laughs> and just overly emotional, just being a Pisces, the given thing. Whatever, whatever gets me through it. Yeah. Why are you so no win scenario? Wait. From both sides losing an argument, why can't they understand no amount of logic and passion could move your foe? Simmering rage, oh my lord. Oh, towards your own child. Your own child? Oh, I forgot about that, oops. Oopsies, my bad. Nearly the 25th where I am. Merry Christmas to you. It's Christmas Eve for me. But Merry Christmas to you. I hope you're having a lovely holiday. Maybe we just need to be a little bit more civil to our own child. Actually, um, not nag, but we're going to be very friendly. I'm going to teach Iggy how to be kind and a civil human for the rest of his days. Make him a better child than he already is. He seems so happy. I've never really had like a very bad relationship towards a toddler before, like ever. So I'm just like, wow, this is really interesting. Eliza, what's, if you don't like the room, just mop it up. Okay, thank you. Bob, let's take Iggy downstairs. We're gonna put Iggy right here and then we're gonna turn on the kids network and just chill. Yes, kids network. Eliza, you can go potty. And we're going to have you take a nice little hot shower. I also realized they don't have a computer. Oh, they have a computer. It's only in Bob's room. Eliza would do the uttermost. And I think she would literally have everyone, including Bob, to go out on a volunteer activities, to go to a soup kitchen to be civil. Show people in the community of Willow Creek that they aren't having problems of any sorts. They're just simply having some downsides in their relationship at the moment. They are simply just trying to be okay. And that's all they want. They're just trying to be okay. They're going to a soup kitchen together. Everything's fine. Yeah. Everything's completely fine. Nothing of the sort is out of the ordinary. We we are totally okay. Nothing of the sorts are um, out of control. I'm preparing to do Borg like from cold weather. Well, madam, if you are cold. Oh, I know what I just did. <laughs> I literally had the thermostat set on cold instead of warm. I meant to do that. Yeah, I, I totally meant to do that, of course. I'm out here trying to freeze my Sims to death. I didn't mean to do that. I meant them for them to be warm. It's like, oh, it can be cooler in the household. Yeah, yeah. Forgetting, forgetting that we need to be warm, not cold. You know, freezing sim seems totally normal, right? Yeah. So, Bob, if you would like to go give your lovely child um, a good reading in the nice warm house. My child is sad from being so cold. No, I didn't mean to do this. We know, you know, what, what, you know what we can do? We can blame Eliza for setting the thermostat to cold instead of warm. Yeah, yeah, to totally, yeah, totally. We can totally just blame Eliza for doing that. Yes, yes, Eliza's very sus. He did it on purpose. He did it on purpose. We're going to add some presents to all the things here. Keep on adding the... Don't sabotage it. Light control... Turn on this light here. We're going to light the tree. Ooh, fancy. 
So when is Winterfest? Winterfest is on Wednesday. I feel like I can actually, can I change this to a different day? I can change it to a different day. I wish I could like drag it and move it over. Hmm. I could have it be on Tuesday, the holiday. We call it Winterfest. I'm going to copy every single last thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot we can go to the park. To be more civil in this household, we can go to the park. Oh, oh, oh. Eliza said, get out of my bed. Oh, no. This is not good. Go sleep in this bed instead. Oh, Santa Fe, thank you for the host. When in doubt, blame Eliza. If you're not in the if you're not in the pancake household, just blame Don Lothario. Just you playing during Winterfest is making me excited for Christmas. Yeah, I enjoy the holidays like this, especially in The Sims. Imagine if your Sims could go caroling to house to house. That would be really nice. That would be really really cozy. I love this. This is making me so happy. Oh, they're so hungry. Oh, well, there's some lovely, oh, snap. I forgot we had Yorkshire pudding in Eliza's inventory and now it's spoiled. Oh no. You know, Eliza's just not the best at all this. Oh, it's no, why did it say it was spoiled? Well, one of them were probably. Oh, nope, there we go. There we go. Yep, there's. Why does it say normal quality? But why is there a stink cloud above it? I'm concerned. That would be very cute, honestly, and like very fun memories. They could honestly add that into um, a holiday. They could have added that into a holiday update where you could like do go caroling. What is, is, what is that surviving the holidays? So surviving the holidays is basically surviving the holidays. You are basically stuck in a household with someone that you honestly hate the most, AKA Eliza Pancakes. And we're trying to be civil friendship wise for the sake of our child, Iggy Pancakes. So we're trying to be friends without having any negative sentiments towards each other. It's a brand new scenario they added into The Sims 4 about a month ago. And it doesn't expire until January 5th. So it's like a quote unquote challenge within the game itself. So you still have time to do it if you would like to. Simmering. Oh my gosh. You know what? You know what, Eliza? You know what you can do? We're so angry. Shout forbidden words and go jogging. Do that. Everyone just hates everyone. It's Tisk. Jump here, welcome in. How are you doing? I hope your day's going pretty well and swell on this fine morning. But also, Merry Christmas Eve. How are you? Don't nag your child. That's not what we do here. No, no. We're going to be very friendly. We're going to play with Iggy. Because it's always so hard to be friends with a toddler when they really, really hate you a lot. I've never really had a negative relationship with a child before. Merry Christmas. Thank you, would you? This child, I swear. These two. He's like, Ch Daddy, feed me. He's so mad. <laughs> Bob's just trying to give, you know, some learning lessons, some life. To Iggy and Iggy's like, I'm not having it. I can't. I'm literally just done. That mean mug on his face. So, so evil. So mad. Oh, he's also really hungry as well. I guess I should feed him. You can go eat some Yorkshire pudding, please. Eliza still go is still jogging outside, but she feels a little bit better now. Now that she took her nice little jog. And have her probably go and warm herself a little bit and talk to Bob about some simmering rage and argue about cleanliness. No, it's about day. Oh, hey, Xavier. 
the lounge? Not now. Look at that fence. Look at that face. That face is so evil. Iggy's face is like, I can't tolerate any of anybody in this household. I just want to eat my Yorkshire pudding in peace and live my life. Merry Christmas. He is cute though. I agree. I love Iggy pancakes. Like, honestly, adding into a child into the mix is very interesting to me. And so I think it's kind of nice that they added an Iggy for like an extra challenge. So if you didn't know this about The Sims 4, the best possible way to get higher in your friendship is just by taking photos with them. Goodbye. Hold up. Excuse me. What does the goodbye mean? What? Is she leaving? <laughs> she said goodbye. I'm done. I'm out. Bob says, I disapprove of your attitude. Get a grip. Get a grip. We're going to go to the park today. Since today is Monday in the game, I want to go to the park and definitely do some fun family activities. Hopefully that will boost our relationship a little bit higher with Iggy. And also Eliza. Oh, Bob. Hello. Bob, don't try. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to be okay. Who is everybody's favorite household in the Sims? In the Sims 4. Let's go to the Magnolia Blossom Park. I'm going to go with Xavier, which is uh, Bob's father. So Iggy can get to know his grandpa a little bit more. <laughs> My own. Exactly. But same though. I mean, I like my own households because I have my own backstories for them. I'm like, I like my own households. They're more wholesome. But I can also add in my own chaos if I want to. So it's like the best of both worlds. The Calientes. Ooh. The Calientes do have the vibe. They do fit the vibe check. I like causing chaos in that house a lot because Don Lothario, in my eyes, is just there for convenience because they, the Calientes gave a roof over his head when no one else would. It just made perfect sense. Maybe the Goth family. I always love having my Sims be friends with them. Same Z's. The Goth family is just like so cute. I like, um, who is it? Alexander Goth, because he's the least problematic child out of all of them. I can't help it, but I love the pancakes. I like the pancakes without Eliza. The Watson family, you know, I have a Let's Play on YouTube that I'm playing right now called Rags to Reconnection with the Watson family from Cottage Living. And so far, it's all working out really great for all of them. I'm going to have you play together. No, you, no, 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 no. You sit here. Bob, you sit here. Devil. Yes. And you both can play chess together. Play chess. You also play chess as well. Um, but also, uh, William Venice, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty good. I think I find myself playing with the goth more often. Okay, you know, a lot of people do that as well. An, acqu an acquaintance was telling me how much they dislike you. Uh, try being... Not Eliza's mother literally saying, be more civil, be more like your brother. <laughs> That's so funny. Not Eliza's mother literally texting her. Saying, an acquaintance I know says, you're being very un uncivil and they really dislike you. Try to be more like your brother. <laughs> the BFF household are chill vibes? Yes. Now, do you get the vibe where that household is like a love triangle? Because I get that vibe. The ball pit is snowed in. It's very flat. Uh, not too fast. <laughs> yeah. Not fast enough. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go and play in the ball pit for a little bit more. I wonder if we can actually, let's see, climb through. I believe you have the option. Help a toddler climb. Yes. Play pirate. 
oh, we need to have Iggy be level two in the imagination skill so we can play as pirates. That real quick, level three. There we go. And then we'll have Bob go and play pirates with Iggy. Yes. I love that. Lurk away, kitty. Lurk away. I cannot wait to introduce Eliza's brother into the mix. I think it'd be really, really funny. It's like, be more like your brother. Be more like him. She's kind of tense. At least she's making some friends, though. She'll need some friends after all this debacle going on with this household, that's for sure. Where is Xavier? Xavier's over here by his lonesome. You want to sit over here? You can. Don't be shy. I won't bite. Hey, Daz. Welcome in. And Peachy, good morning to you both. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well. Well, on this fine morning. We're playing Surviving the Holiday Scenario in The Sims 4 with the Pancake family with their child, Iggy Pancakes. But I'm glad you both are here. Oh, Iggy's smelly. We gotta go and change this child. So smelly. I can't. I can't. Viper. In my head, the BFF household are having a love poly relationship. I can see that. Bob, where are you going? Why are you sitting over here? No. Go tend to your own child. Iggy, stop playing. You. Your father can actually help you with things. Oh my god. Game is avoiding everything. Bob, come over here. Iggy. Come to your father. Don't bite him. Watch him. Watch your father. But Bob, I'm going to have you help toddler climb the slide. Yes. <laughs> You're lurking this morning, so I forgot to say hi. All good, Jade. Lurking is all good. And Maggie Labs, welcome in. Welcome in, besties. How are you doing? Merry Christmas Eve or Merry Christmas to you all, wherever you are in the world. Welcome in. And how was your stream? I saw you were doing food and drinks. Were you baking anything or cooking anything? But can we welcome in all the raiders here in the chat, please? And thank you. So much for sending your lovely community over here. If you don't know who I am, I'm Spring Sims, also known as Steven. I play a lot of variety gameplay here on Twitch. We are currently playing The Sims 4 today with the holiday or surviving the holiday scenario. And we are with the Pancake family, the most love hated family in The Sims 4. In my eyes. Ooh, Merry Christmas. You made egg casserole and then wrapped presents. Ooh, that sounds fun. Sounds really exciting. Egg casserole. I've never had egg casserole before. Is it tasty? I would assume so. But thank you so much for the, for, oh my God, Bob, are you good? Are you good, Bob? This whole household is just like, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I need to leave. <laughs> Oh, but I appreciate it so, so much that you sent some uh, Merry Christmas joy vibes. For the people who came from, um, from the raid, from Maggie's stream, who, what are you, what are you all doing for the holidays? For tomorrow or today? We'd love to know. And Ash, welcome back. How are you doing today? Welcome in. I'm doing really good. We're playing Surviving the Holiday Scenario with the Pancake family. And honestly, it's going somewhat civil enough that they are tolerating each other. <laughs> They're no longer enemies. That's lovely. And welcome back, Savvy. Egg casserole is a tradition in my household. We always have to make, uh, we always have it with sliced oranges. I love oranges. A lot of my folks uh, know you, so now... They get to hang here. Oh, great. That's good. I'm glad you all get to hang out with me. I appreciate it. Bob is me. Literally me. But it looks like that Bob and Eliza are no longer enemies, which is really, really great for us. So we're trying to be friends 
ask what Eliza problem Eliza's problem is life and you're welcome I'm happy to be able to stream today honestly because I know a lot of people around the world are not able to go back to their families this time around of the year and ma'am why are you wearing a crop top in the winter time um but I'm I'm glad I'm able to stream today you're excited for Christmas same here I'm so ready Oh, you did? Ooh, well, I'll check it out then. Wait, w excuse me? Okay, I asked Eliza what her problem was. And she says, hey, this drama isn't my fault. At least not completely. I'm allowed to feel bitter about what's happening between us. Excuse me? That is very funny. <laughs> oh, that is very funny. But you know what's very interesting about this is that... um. This actually, I think this came with the new update they gave us with a uh, story progression, which I think is very, very funny. We're going to discuss angry mood. We're going to try and calm her down. Lordy, Lordy Lou. <laughs> Bob, is in, Bob is in a deep thought. Yes, he definitely is, honestly. Eliza, calm down. Calm down, Eliza. Everything will be fine. It'll be fine as long as you eat your lovely food of pincho, pincho, Pin pincho. I thought I changed Iggy's diaper. Oh no, now Iggy's all icky. Diaper not being changed. Oh no, I'm so sorry. We're gonna clean you up. Don't worry, bestie. We'll clean you up. Bob, go tend to your child. Run like the wind. <sighs> oh no. Bob and his dad could be twins. Yes. I definitely added in where Bob and uh, Bob and his father are basically twins. Because Bob's mother is no longer in the picture. Died. But also they were divorced so long ago. But found out that she died a long time ago. Which was very sad. But also it's just like. The fact that we're in this situation where. Bob's father is now acknowledging the fact that his his son is doing somewhat okay and being somewhat civil to his ex-wife is very interesting to me because all his life was Bob's father. He never really had like a stable career. He never really had that sense of realization that stability was in the cards for him. They went from neighborhood to neighborhood asking for help but also going neighborhood to neighborhood by moving a lot because his father couldn't really have a stable job to save his life. He was always a person who always had this idea that you can do anything and everything as long as you give it a try. And he tried and tried and tried, but never really had the sense of like stableness. He couldn't keep a job. And that kind of resulted into Bob having the fact that maybe just maybe i don't want to be like my father and i think at this time with bob being the way he is with loving eliza it's kind of going down the same cycle where he felt a little bit miserable when it came to his relationship with his significant other and so bob's trying to reconcile all that hatred and sadness that he had for so long for the past eight almost eight, seven years of his life with eliza and wants to rekindle that love again but i don't know we'll ha we'll have to see i definitely want to have bob bob's father do a new career and go after his dream job he used to be a jazz player back in the late 1930s i think he was born in 19 and he kind of stopped doing that after he met his wife, who is now dead. And so he wants to become a famous jazz singer. But again, we just don't really know what his dream job is because Bob doesn't know because it's always un like inconsistent. You know, I come back to storytelling. Yes. As you all know, I love storytelling. If you're new to the streams, I tell a lot of stories. Oh, OK, this is not right. We have a small holiday dinner at your aunt and originally my cousins were coming, but I don't think they're coming anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully you have a fun time at your aunt's house. Either way. I'm 
Bob's father says, although I appreciate your interest, Bob, it's been one of those days and I prefer not to talk about something else. Well, I prefer to talk about something else if you don't mind. Like I said, Bob's father doesn't really like talking about these certain things about jobs or staying in his family. Like it's just really not for him. So he's always have a, a, had a hard time about this stuff. So I can totally understand the way he feels. Where is Iggy? Iggy, where are you at? Oh, Iggy's so tired. We should probably have him go home and give him a bath since it's like 9 p.m. And we'll have Bob kind of talk to his father for a hot minute before we leave. And I know you will, Ash. I know you will. I believe that you will have a fun time. And you love the storytelling? Oh, thank you, Mousy. I will literally make a storyline out of thin air. Like, half of the time for me... I don't really write backstories. Like, I don't write them ahead of time. I just talk and words come out. <laughs> I just plan as I go. And it kind of makes it easier for me to do it that way. And so that storyline that I just told you all, I did it on the spot. Because <laughs> just, like, just playing the game itself for me inspires me to tell stories differently where they're always different but always like somewhat the same and so i think it's uh definitely very fun to tell stories like this especially with bob because we never really understood who bob's parents were and like when you kind of think about it bob and eliza are kind of like bob and betty newbie from the sims one and so i feel like that kind of you know makes sense right uh patia welcome in how are you very good storyteller. Thank you. And MJ, good morning. How are ya? <laughs> I don't go on Facebook during this time. Not today. Are you an alien? No. <laughs> We're going to definitely take a photo with um, Bob's father and hang it on the wall. That's a great backstory. Thank you so much. Uh, news, new thing, just recommended me uh, oh news thing just recommended to you chris jenner and her version of Jing i'm sorry excuse me chris jenner in her version of jingle bells what J why jingle bells and chris jenner on spot storytelling is the best oh it is one of these days i want to write a book i want to write a children's book and then like a regular like mystery book really fun not not bad not bad oh good that's good things have been pretty good here today as well i've been just been chilling hanging out with you all just having good old fun just go away go back home but so far so good i'm not chilly because um it is currently 56 degrees fahrenheit outside um <laughs> on christmas eve it was 69 yesterday Tomorrow's weather, I have no idea. It'll be. Am Bishop, long time no see. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. And happy birthday to your oldest daughter and youngest son. Happy birthday to them both. Exciting times, exciting times. I hope they're having a very fun birthday today. We're going to give Iggy a bubble bath. And then... We're going to Vladimir stride. <laughs> no, no, no. And then we're going to put Iggy to bed. And then we're going to have Bob and Eliza be a little bit more civil with friendship wise and build a snow pail together. Lady Sadie, good morning. Hello. OMG Lucky, it's 25 right now. <laughs> oh no, that is not good. Iggy, where'd you go? Where's Iggy? Still down says, I said give him a bubble bath, not leave him outside. Seventy here for Christmas. That sounds not like Christmas to me. Oh, you're doing good. It's, you've been really busy. I feel like staying busy around this time is important and good. What do you mean? You know what? I'm gonna teleport you up here instead. Go here. Iggy. Iggy. Go here. Thank you. 
uh, today here in okay, see, it's gonna be 84 degrees. That sounds unnatural. <laughs> that sounds crazy. 84 degrees. Mother Nature is really not having it this year. They were really not having it this year at all. Like, you want snow and weather? No, you're not having that today. <laughs> that's just, that's not good. The one Christmas movie that I kind of want to watch is the Good Luck Charlie Merry Christmas movie. Because I love Good Luck Charlie. That movie. That one. Today has been pretty good. I've been pretty happy all day today. I've been doing some cleaning for the most part this morning for the little that I did. I am not, no. Um, I did a little cleaning this morning before I started streaming. I woke up at like nine. No, not nine. I woke up at eight o'clock this morning and did some cleaning, turned on my lights. 49 here. Mm. Your friend Willie's gonna text at you. It's going to be 80 degrees. Let me see what the temperature is gonna be tomorrow. Weather tomorrow. Mother Nature is doing a lot this year for sure. Are you kidding? So tomorrow, it is supposed to be 62 degrees Fahrenheit tomorrow, with the low being 36. That is ridiculous. There's no snow happening at all this year. 76 year? Is 70 where you are? Hate that for the Christmas feels. Same, Tracy, same. Same. I wish it was at least a little bit colder. I can turn on my heat. Oh no, Tacy. 80 is too much. No white Christmas. It was snowing somewhere else. Someone mentioned it in chat earlier that it was snowing for them. I'm like, oh, okay. Keep it over there. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want snow. Snow's not for me. You watched Polar Express a few days ago? I love that movie. I have it on DVD, actually. And I really, really love it. So we're acquaintances. Okay, our relationship is going down with Iggy, which is good, like enemy-wise. The more we interact with Iggy, the better. Good. Still have a hurt sentiment towards Iggy. And so does Iggy. Eliza's fine. Come downstairs, Eliza. Actually, you know what? You up a little bit. We're going to decorate, put up the decorations. Ooh. This is fake. Oh, that's a nice house. Last night you watched 8-Bit uh, Christmas. How is that? I heard it was interesting, but I don't know if it's uh, good or not. I have it on my watch list right now. You love snow? I love snow when it's convenient for me, when I don't have to shovel it. Why can I have snow on Christmas? Tomorrow it's going to be 56 and raining. It might freeze. And also, GS whatever. Good morning, and also, Merry Xmas. Hope your day is going pretty well. So, reminder, friends, this is the last stream that I'll be doing until next week on Tuesday. So, no stream until next Tuesday on the 28th. So, so that you know. Bob farts all the time in this game, and it's just icky. He's a slob, and that's just not it. Oh, uh, 8-Bit Christmas was hilarious. Those kids were doing the most for, for that Nintendo. Oh, <laughs> then I'm going to have to watch it then. I might watch it tonight because tomorrow I'm watching the um, new Matrix movie. And I'm really excited about that, honestly. Let's grab a serving at 8 o'clock in the morning. Iggy, you can also grab some too. Everyone grab a serving, please, and thank you. Eliza, grab one as well. Polar Express. All the Santa Claus movies are all my favorite to watch. Home Alone 1 and 2 is also another good one. Iggy, where'd you go? 
Oh, you're gonna ask me this. Good, good. Why is Bob's feet gray? Oh, it's not gray. He's wearing socks. Winterfest is tomorrow. But yeah, he's just wearing socks. I also, I have this uh, realistic HD feet mod in my game that gives your Sims actual human toes instead of clay toes that the game gives you. It's by Necrodog, um, the HD feet, kind of like the realism aspect of the game. Two chimneys. We'll make this one, we'll make it brown. I feel they need more decorations. More decorations on top of the house. We're gonna go with seasons. We're also gonna do some of these right here. Make it even like more crucified. Not the toes. No, no, no. Not the toes. <laughs> toes all around. Oh, that's a little bit too big. Right there. Right. There we go. Uh, Die Hard is my favorite Christmas movie. And I'm sorry, if you don't, it's a Chris movie, I don't want to start an argument, and neither do I. The, I think the director, his name is Kevin, I think. I think he said at some Comic-Con or whatever, that he said Iron Man 3 is is technically a Christmas movie, kind of, sort of, not really. Because apparently it's set in the winter time during the holiday season. So that's something. I'm like, are you sure? Like, okay, if you say so. That's why his socks have toes. Yeah, they're like little toesy socks. Well, now I see the feet. <laughs> yeah, someone's. I read. I read somewhere because it was on like the Facebook thing, and it was trending. So like, oh, look on this. They said Iron Man Three is not a Christmas movie. I also don't want to start that argument either. So end of the sky. Not. Oh, it doesn't, oh, it doesn't change for the season. Interesting. We'll just make this one big. Make this one big. Oh, it's not covered in snow? Oh, I don't like it. Oh, now it is. <laughs> I'll put this one up top. That's up even more. Up. There we go. Hey, God Gil, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell on this fine holiday evening, or I guess morning <laughs> at this point. I hope you're doing good today. How have you been? Been good. Type in the plum fruits. I have the plum fruit mod in my game. Oh. Oh, taking this one off. What? Plum fruit? There it is. Plum fruit. Fruit. Plum fruit. <gasps> oh no. I have to actually buy it, buy it. Oh. You know, a little holiday gift never hurt nobody. Seems appropriate. I refuse to believe that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no, I refuse to believe that too. I'm 100%. Your other favorite Christmas movies are Home Alone and Christmas Carol. I love that. There was a new movie on Netflix recently. Or was it Disney Plus? I can't remember what uh, which streaming platform it was on, but I watched it and it was nice. Oh no, it was The Boy Called Christmas. That was a really good one. I enjoyed that movie. It was really nice. Some holiday silks for Eliza, rose petals. Then Bob come downstairs and tend to your child. My favorite Sims for YouTubers and streamers. I feel like I can't pick that because half of them are my friends. I don't really know. To be honest, I don't really watch a lot of stream streams. I tend to lurk in a lot of them. I mean, the ones that I have to say that I rec I think you all would really enjoy 
are Zephyrin, Little Simsy, Rochella, now in Technicolor, uh, green, uh, Pale Green M, Duck Dan, even though he plays Dead by Daylight a lot, um, Deli, Deli Grissy, Claire Siobhan, James Turner, Dr. Glue One. There's just a lot of them. Because the thing is, all of them are all over my friends. Every single Sim YouTuber you've probably met and seen are my friends. So it's like, I can't choose my friends. There's also Vixella too. Um, I'm like, that's like picking your friends and I don't want to do that. Um, but who are your favorite Sim YouTubers and streamers? I would love to know. I think Simsy's playing Animal Crossing. She's doing the holiday thing. Toy Day. Pretty cool. You're doing pretty good. You went to bed at four something last night and woke up at 9.40. You had to go back to sleep, but couldn't. You know, that's me. I went to bed at 11.30 because I knew I had to get up early for the stream. You excited for the Plum Fruit mod and your sim self? Yeah. I can't wait to get my game tomorrow. Recovering from this week from stuff. Totally understand. I feel you. Oh, there's a new poll. Your favorite Christmas movie, Christmas Vacation, Christmas Story, Home Alone, Love Actually, or Elf? I love Home Alone because that's like a tradition for me. Eliza, let's have you go and open up the app. We're going to have you purchase some of the plum fruit um, things here. We're going to buy the plum pod, Max in yellow, and then we're going to buy... The VR headset. We're just going to buy all three of them. That seems appropriate. And it's in your inventory. I wonder what this does. Place in the world, Eliza. What does that do? What's the VR headset? I have no idea what that does, but it looks interesting. Let him oh my. <gasps> oh, this looks so cool. It's like that um that mat you get from uh, City Living, I think. Uh, it's probably because I drink coffee at twelve, at la twelve at last night. Goodness, we love little Simsy. Simsy's pretty cool. I can believe I forgot about Christmas Vacation. I don't think I've ever seen it, but I feel like I have at some point. If I have, I don't remember. Holiday music. Battle. Mm -mm. Winter holiday. Uh, Spring Sims fave. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I love how Home Alone is winning over classic movies. It, I feel like it's just a staple, you know, honestly. When it comes to like Christmas, we all think of Home Alone because every single time we watch it, it is Christmas time. And the kid is always left home alone during Christmas. Sims can have cell phones, yes. They come with one though. All Sims have cell phones. Yes, indeed. At the very start of the game, there's like a phone icon. But I installed a mod that makes the phones look way different. That look like iPhones, but Sim based. It's by Arnie. Arnie Plus. He used to go by The Sims Plus. But he changed his name recently to something different. Eliza, no, no, no. Go in here. We're going to have Bob talk to Iggy instead. I forgot about watching Good Luck Charlie. It's Christmas. I need to watch it tonight. Same. I have a lot of them that I need to watch. You think you're going to watch Wrong Gone Wrong? I watched that the other day. It's so good. I thought Wrong Gone Wrong was going to be awful. But no, it is actually really good. I recommend it. I also have HBO Max as well. Poor kid. <laughs> Struggling. Invite to listen to story. If I could actually get these two to like each other, my life would be so complete. This child's being very defiant. That is not it. Listen to the story, Iggy. Listen to the story. Okay. It's Elf for you. I love Elf, but I can't get behind the whole syrup and chocolate syrup and soda for on spaghetti. 
That just sounds hurtful. Oh, spaghetti. Mm -mm. Bucky, aka the dog I'm babysitting, is just press his head against my head, being like, pay attention to me while I'm watching the stream. <laughs> Dogs like, notice me instead of the stream. Like, I can't, I'm working. Nope, this mess. Tomorrow's gonna be Winterfest in the game, and I'm so excited actually for this. It's gonna be fun. No introduction. The cheat they're But I wonder if Bob takes a photo of Iggy, will this boost our relationship with Iggy? Maybe. Wrong gone wrong. I gave the trailer a, sh a shot, and now is my watch list very good. I think it's very funny because it reminds me of um, Steve Jobs, if he was still alive, RIP. I feel like Apple would have gone to that point in the like, in the future. It's like, if you want a best friend, here's this new robot to be your best friend. I'm like, um, no, I'm good. <laughs> I always say Polar Express and it's Christmas Charlie Brown for the night of Christmas. I think that's a good thing to do. Me, Claire, Deli, James, Kelsey, Simsy, Sasha, Shella. Very good. I love all of them. They're so good. I love every single last one of my friends. Honestly. Take a picture of Iggy. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes right down Santa Claus Lane. Mix in, blitz in all his reindeer. Pulling on the rain. Some Santa Claus here. Right down Santa Claus. You guys know the actor really ate that stuff. You know. Those actors do be eating that fruitcake. And I don't like fruitcake. Fruitcake is nasty. Cooked fruit on certain things shouldn't be a thing. In my humble opinion. And I will stand by that. Take a picture of Iggy. Wait, why can't you? Because you're sitting down? Is it because you're sitting? Oh, because you can't get through anything. So Iggy, come over here. And then Bob, come over here. Go. My list of favorite streamers are very short. Me, Julian, and Pleasant. Good choices, good choices. Iggy, come on, don't be shy. Bob, don't even, don't you dare. Go over here. Take a picture of your child, please. For the wall, at least. Come on, take a photo. Take a photo of him. <gasps> I can't. No one can pay me enough uh, to eat what the actor and elf had to eat. That stuff would hurt. I think he went through some stuff when he was filming that movie anyway. So I'm just like, mm-mm. Will Ferrell is a trooper. I can't. This? That song is running through my head. <laughs> That's a cute photo. I am dead. I'm gonna do a por I'm gonna do uh portrait mode to get the full length. I can have Iggy default fashion. I can change Iggy's pose. I'm dead. Oh my goodness, I can't. Oh my gosh, this got, this is so much better. This is so much better. One photo here, I'm gonna take two of those. Change the pose. Oh, this is so cool. I love this game. I forgot you can take photos of toddlers. I never did it because I didn't know if it would work or not, but I love it. And it boosts our relationship too. So pro tip friends, if you have a bad relationship with your child, take a photo of them and it boosts their relationship. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Do I have, wait, hold up. Poses. I have poses in my game and now I'm just like, no, wait, which one is this? I can't tell which one this is. <gasps> oh no, no, we're doing it. We're doing it. Hold up. I'm posing these, ba I'm, cho I'm posing these children. I'm posing my game. Wait, what? Oh, cause I'm taking photos. There we go. 
I forgot I had a pose thing in my game where I could pose my Sims. Sim. Teleportation. Here it is. Where is it at? Teleportation. Just where is it at? Oh my goodness. Wait. Why can I not find it? If I filter by custom content. Content? Wait, where is it? Oh, it's right here. It didn't show. That's weird. I'm also buying the Christmas ornaments on Christmas Eve. I'm struggling for the holidays. Oof. Good luck. Good luck with that. That is quite scary. They really need to nix that photo relationship glitch. It's not normal. It is not normal at all. It's like, I'm going to take a photo of you. Um, we are now instant friends. Love that. Especially the part where it just, that goes, so jump in in bed and cover your head because Santa Claus comes to town. Yes. Teleport Sim Bob. And then Eliza. And then Iggy. Oh, I just realized I did not do this right. We're going to put them all in their Christmas gear because I want to put them in holiday attire. I just remembered that. I just remembered that Christmasified times 10 or times 100. Okay, Bob, it's time to put on your nice holiday sweater. The holidays. Freezer bunny and all. Actually, I'm going to have you wear this one instead. So adorable. I love it. Ah, it's so cute. I love the holidays. It makes me so happy. I get to do all this with you all. And I just get to do it in my game itself. Uh, in real life, if someone takes a photo of me, the relationship decreases. Like, if you take a photo of me, I'm not speaking to you anymore. It's like, oh. Oh, a trip into Cass. Yes. A trip in create a sim. The best days, honestly, in my humble opinion. Bob looks very sad. But what can you really do, honestly, with Bob pancakes? It's just his eyebrows. Ew. It's so cute. Eliza, you're not wearing this. So don't even try. You are going to wear a nice, lovely sweater. We're not having matching sweaters. We're not that household. We may be dysfunctional and chaotic, but we don't wear matching sweaters in this house. Not in the cards. I'm going to wear a cat sweater. I feel like Eliza's a cat person, honestly. I think she really is. I can see that happening. You all dress your Sims in holiday attire during the holiday season, regardless of the year. I do. When it's Winterfest, I dress them in all winter attire. Right. Like, my color. Also, why is she wearing flip flops? Ma'am, it is like 46 degrees outside. Don't wear flip flops. Not, no. I do not like taking, taking pictures. The camera does not like me, nor do I like cameras. I only take selfies. I don't like when people take pictures of me because I'm like, I'm awkward already. I don't look great in photos. I mean, I feel like I'm okay, but I'm like, if they're telling me they're taking a photo, I'll pose and do the thing. But if it's like a candid photo, mm -mm. don't even try because you'll get the awkwardest face reaction ever. I'm going to give her like these. Then Iggy can wear a nice little outfit as well. My mom said the family is obsessed with taking photos. I hate it. Oh my god. Like you gotta at least at least tell me you're doing something before you even try to do it. Did Tara Skinny take all the attire? I don't think they ever did. Let me see. No, they never did. Unless they got a full body outfit. Oh, they got a full body outfit. That's what they got. <laughs> Iggy's an elf. Oh, I love that. I want to give you two outfits, actually. Apparently, I did give you two outfits. 
We'll give you the Christmas one. We'll give you this one. And then we'll give you the hat that goes with it. Look at Iggy being an elf. I love this so much. This makes me so happy. Ah, okay. Oh, you don't need a hat in this one. You can be a full on Christmas tree if you would like to. Eliza needs a hat as well. I do dress my Sims in holiday wear for their cold weather wear. It's only, it's only appropriate, you know, only appropriate that you do. So just give her a Batu hat. No, that just looks horrifying. If I gave her something Batu related on a Christmas card photo, I would scream and then delete her because that's just uncalled for. Toddlers have the cutest outfits ever. And I'm just like, can we have more of that, please? I need more toddler attire. Anything a toddler wears is automatically just adorable. Point blank period. Holiday pack? Oh, that says kits. I need a holiday. You can wear this outfit here. Actually, you can wear the, the, the Rudolph one. I don't think we got any pants with this pack. Holiday pack. By the way, if you didn't know this, the holiday pack is free for everyone to download, by the way. It's a free pack they released so long ago. You say they're playing, uh, really late playing The Sims 3. Did you buy all the, the entire collection for $67? Because if you didn't know, you can buy The Sims 3 for $67, $67 on Steam. I don't know about Origin, but I just know on Steam, the whole collection is uh, $67 USD. I keep thinking you're on, uh, I keep thinking you're on YouTube. So I click on Chrome and I'm like, wait, oh yeah. <laughs> I plan on uploading a video today. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Sim Ace. Welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well on this fine morning. Welcome, welcome in. Sim teleportation to destination. Right here. One, two, three. Proposing these Sims before we even actually can continue. Teleport, Bob. Then we have to teleport Eliza and then Iggy. Let's see, Bob, you can pose. That's the wrong one. Pose by pack. This one. Then Eliza, you pose as well. This is how I pose all of my Sims for like special photos all the time. Oh, they're going to be kissing. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Toddler. Will this work the way I want it? Come on. Pose. Pose. Right there. There we go. But thank you for the bits as well, Sim Ace. This is the first time, uh, your first time on my Twitch streams. You are my recommended and I watched, I wanted background noise while I build. And I think I like it here. Oh, I'm so glad you like it here. I appreciate that so much. Ew. Ew. Also, they're like right in the middle of this. What a nice little photo. I also realize this is not ideal because they're right in the middle of all this. What if I am going to delete this curtain? Delete the curtain. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No. No, I'm gonna do it all over again now. No, not like this. Not like this. Cannot believe this. I love posing all of my Sims like that. It's just so adorable. I'm making a Christmas or like a New Year special type uh, machinima film, short film video that I want to release next year. I'm still filming at the whole entire thing still. Because it's, it's a uh, thing that I did a couple of years ago. Um, if you remember my series on YouTube called Cats and Dogs, um, I'm filming that whole family all over again, but for like the holidays, I think it'd be really fun to showcase that family again. Let's put this in their inventory for a split second because I want them in the fireplace. We pose them. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope you enjoy the vibes. I hope you have fun building. If you don't want me asking, what are you building today, by the way, uh, Eves? 
Isramay. Isramay. That's a nice name. The exact same thing happened to me. <laughs> you know, I pop in, I pop up on people's recommend it, and it's like kind of nice that I do. And then when you all pop in for the first time, it's like, oh, Xavier. Oh, I don't think so. Xavier. Oh, why is he here? He can go away. Go away. Send home. Right, y'all. Y'all, why you do this like this? My Sims don't want to co cooperate and actually pose for a nice family photo picture. One, two, three. Go. Okay, teleport Bob, Eliza, and then Iggy. Now, Bob, let's pose you once more. You, there. Then Eliza. Well, and then Iggy. Toddler. So. Now, if he wants to get out of the picture, that'll be really great. Close the door. Thank you. Are those poses you use on Tumblr? Yes. I try to reblog a bunch of new um, poses on there as much as possible. But yes, it should be. If not, then I'll have to refine it and then reblog it again. Uh, I'm also recategorizing my uh, Tumblr so it's in, uh, more easier to find things. I just downloaded a bunch of CC yesterday, so I'm using that. A modern house for a young mom and her toddler, very spoiled mini me. Oh, it's so adorable. I love that. Okay, we got those regular photos in there. Oh, you know what? If Iggy's in his in their pajamas, we should do a pajama photo. Sleepwear, this one, Bob. And then Eliza, she should be in her Chris in her. PJs as well. Yes. Family PJ moment. Oh, look at them. Even though they are non-civil, I think it's still cute to take photos like this sometimes. I have no Christmas decorations for Animal Crossing, so I think it's going to take a while. Yeah. I know Nook's Cranny is selling something, but I forget what it is. And uh, Sugar Mama Coco, welcome in. How are you doing today? I got those photos. Oop, wrong one. Let's change your outfit to your everyday wear. We can have Iggy wear this one. Bob, you can wear this one. Oop, wrong one. And then Eliza, let's have you wear your Christmas outfit as well. There we go. It's so cute. Boy day is coming up. I can't believe it's Toy Day already in Animal Crossing, or it's going to be. My day's been doing pretty good. Also, by the way, I love your emote. Are you excited for the new reboot of The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder? Because I sure am. They're so cute. Ugh, oh, I love this. If the plumb bob was not in the way, actually, I can. I think I can turn that off. Let's see, I think it's headline, headline text. One or off. Yes. So if you type in headline effects off, it takes away the plumb bob and I think all the thought bu bubbles above their head. Okay. I kind of just wanted this like this. That's cute. That's a nice Christmas card photo right there. If I, I love the photo. I'm going to tweet that on Twitter today. I have so many photos. It's not even funny of this family. It's ridiculous. I also got to put their couch back as well. So y'all can stop posing and being civil. Do not make a mess. Don't even try. Don't even try. Go over here. Iggy was about to make a whole mess on the floor and I was like not here for it. When you're trying to get all your, your entire family together, take a nice greeting card photo. And then after that, they make an entire mess on the floor. If that's not the holidays, I don't know what is. There we go. I'm so excited. It's going to be really interesting on how it'll be. I know they updated everything. 
But here's my thing. I wonder if the if Destiny Child will do a new little thing. Probably not. But who knows? Your youngest sister lost her switch. What? So I can't play Animal Crossing? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's not fun. Lost a $300 console. That is not fun. Losing your switch during the holidays? Mm-mm. Not it. I am so sorry that happened. That is not great. That is not great at all. Actually smiling at this, at this photo. Who knew I could love the pancakes? Yeah, the pancakes are just so wholesome. Oh, well, Bob's just angry. <laughs> Especially with the toddler. When they added in the toddler, it made it more enjoyable. I really hope everything is redone. I think it will. Everything is going to be redone. It's all the same voice actors with new people coming in. Um, the the trailer or like the promo they did, everything is literally redone. The graphics, the drawing style of it is extremely different. Um, yeah. This should be interesting. They need a new bop. They need a new bop or two because it was, you know, I love the old one, but they need it but updated. Honestly, really do. Just love this so much. Eliza, let's have you make some holiday cookies because I think it'd be really nice for, uh, for you to bake. Even though you don't have any cooking skills of any kind, I think it'll be nice for you to bake some cookies and then Bob can definitely also have you cook. I think he has level eight in cooking. No, he still has level seven. Fruit cobbler. Now I've never ever had fruit cobbler before. I wonder what it tastes like. Oh, just fruit. That photo made me want to apologize for, for always terrorizing them in gameplay. I don't do gameplay that often. I will never apologize to them. Oh, well, I won't apply. I won't apologize to Eliza. If you look at every single trailer, every trailer, Bob is always so miserable. But you know what I didn't realize? Someone tweeted not too long ago, actually, um, that Eliza Pancakes in the Get to Work trailer, he's in jail as a prisoner, which is quite funny. If I... If I can find the photo, here it is. If I, yeah, look at this. This is the get to work trailer, a screenshot from that trailer. Eliza is an inmate. That is not surprising. Confession, I never knew the Sims 4 lore until recently. You know, that's okay. Everyone learns about the lore every once in a while, you know, whenever they feel like it. It takes time because there's a lot of lore in the Sims 4. Not with all the households, because The Sims 4 is an alternate universe. When you really think about it, the Calientes and the Goth family and the Landgrabs are all the same, except Trina Caliente shouldn't be there. But Nina and Dina and Donathario have been around since The Sims 2. Yeah, the lore is very interesting on how it works in the timeline order. Because the timeline goes Sims 3... Sims 1 and then Sims 2 because you base it off of the goth family and I also the land grabs kind of because Bella and Mortimer goth are children in the Sims 3 and then the Sims 1 they have Cassandra as a child but then Sims 2 Alexander is a teenager and Cassandra is a young adult so time and order works the same yeah the lore is quite wild I will always remember Justin Child for, by the Prime Family. Yes. Did you know Solange Knowles actually sang the intro, not Destiny Child? They were just the background singers. Didn't know. That's how I found out. I looked at them like, what? They didn't sing it? Solange Knowles did it? Her sister? Everyone can have some cookies. So can Iggy. Cereal break. All good, all good.
Now all the other ones I knew. I just don't know how I skipped over this one. It's all good. The Sims 4 is, is very skippable when it comes to timeline, I would say. I try to make it make sense when it comes to adding in old townies from other games because they what they recently did not too long ago well they've been going they've been doing this for a while actually um the sims team uploaded the some old households from previous sims games to the gallery on their official gallery page i think the smith family um I think the original broke family too i forget they they added some other houses but i forget which ones they were i just know one of them was the smith family oh and the grunt family too and the specter household you got three commercials back to back what yeah ads ads play every hour sadly how's my save file the save file that i'm working on with with everything's customized by me that one is going pretty great. I'm taking a slow approach to it now because I've learned that I shouldn't rush things with it. But my new goal is to finish part one of it by my birthday. So I have two months, which will allow me to work on a bunch of new builds and create all the households that I have so far and the connections of it. Yeah, so far, so good. So far, so good. And I'm pretty pleased with it so far. I have one household that I'm still trying to make because I'm trying to make it where there is one whole household with seven generations deep. That is what I'm trying to do with one of the households in Willow Creek in my save file. So far, I'm still making the house. Not the Sims yet, because that's going to take a while of killing a bunch of Sims. Happy holidays, Steven. Happy holidays to you, PK Patricia. Thank you for the bits as well. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Tal, you need to stop. He's so excited for tomorrow for presents. Anticipating opening presents. Oh, Iggy's so excited. Yay. And that way tomorrow will end off on a good note. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're gonna put him to bed. Oh, how adorable. But he's smelly. It's fine, he can go to bed smelly. He can go soak in the bathtub for some centrist uh, soak. Oh, look at you. You got the 1K bit badge now, Patricia, look at that. And also Lulu, thank you for the tier one stuff for two heckin' months. I appreciate that so, so much. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some hype and some love in the chat, please? Thank you for that brand new resub. Thank you. I was like, Eliza is in the bathtub with her nice avocado mask on and cucumber. <laughs> Oh, he can flavorize his meals now. Oh, perfect. Well, not like that. I mean, pumpkin pie. We're trying to make a bunch of meals. So let's cook up some more. I will make. Hello? Okay. Oh, that was weird. Zombie cake. We'll make some black and white cookies. Ah. Hey, thank you for the 100 bits again. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. For that continued support. Thank you, thank you. So if you're popping in today, we are playing Surviving the Holiday Scenario with Bob and Eliza Pancakes today. And so far it's working in our favor. Kind of. Somewhat. Lulu, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. Hype train, hype train, hype train. Apparently there's new emotes too for the hype train. Wait, they have a hype pet. We have a we have a Spring Sims pet emote that is very cursed. But there's a hype train too. Do not use that toilet, please don't. I'm doing really well today. Thank you for asking. I've been good. I've been having a lot of fun. I woke up around like eight o'clock this morning, just chilling, and I said start streaming. 
So it's been pretty good. Merry Christmas. I have to go. Happy holidays and stay safe, everyone. Spring Sims love. You too, Cimarella. Enjoy the rest of your holidays and stay safe as well. Thank you for the bits and also being here for modding for me today. See you next time. See you next Tuesday. You can find a bunch of CC on Tumblr. Definitely, definitely. You can find stuff on Tumblr. I think I have reblogged a few things like that already, like CC blankets and pillows. If I haven't, I might need to find some for myself because I do be looking some good stuff. But yeah, Tumblr has basically everything you need. Why are you sad? Oh, you had a nightmare. Oh, well, Bob, go over here and comfort your child, please. Um, but thank you for the... Oh, but thank you for the 500 bits, Cinderella, and see you next time. And thank you for the 100 bits, Dab. Christmas bits. Thank you, thank you. The baby? What baby? In The Sims? Or Stardew Valley? What? <laughs> I was like, Sim Baby? Read Iggy to sleep. <laughs> like, what? Wait, what baby? Look, I don't know what baby we're talking about. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. So, oh, Peach. So, Princess Peach did have her baby. Yes, yes. <laughs> Princess Peach is another Twitch mod I have who did have a baby recently. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Uh, is there a way to stop toddlers to have nightmares? Yeah, so you can give them the nightlight. I believe it's one of the nightlights you can add in. I think I just might add in now. People say it is the, it's a wall light. It has like a nice little monster on it right here. People say it's this nightlight that gets uh turns away monsters. Yeah, the defender is a force to be reckoned with against all kinds of monsters with its blinding light, especially the ones under the bed. So yeah, if you put this one near your toddler's bed or like somewhere in the proximity of it, it should get rid of all the monsters and they shouldn't appear anymore. A reminder. <laughs> I was like, wait, I have a child? In The Sims, you do. <laughs> uh, but also, thank you for the high train as well. I knew someone was pregnant. So yeah, a few people this year have been pregnant. Sims 2 is the only game where I play with pre maids. You no, know, I play with every single pre maid in the game. Right now, I play, I'm playing all the pre maids in Pleasant View, and it's quite chaotic, let me tell you. Even like in Strange Town and Veronaville. <laughs> Made my day. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, it's Christmas. It's Christmas in the game. And the first one that's up is Icky Pancakes. Of course, feeling angry, stinky. Stinky boy. Well, Bob, it's time to wake up and bathe your child. Oh my gosh, it's winter fast in the game. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Chrysler. Oh, uh, that nightlife uh, nightlight works for toddlers. Nightmares also? Yes. I thought it only worked with someone under the bed. Well, nightmares, I don't think so. I just know it works for under the bed for the monsters. I'm not really sure about nightmares. I think if you give them, like, if you wake up, if the parent wakes up and, like, reassures them that there's no thing to be scared of, it should get rid of the mood lit. Where's your Christmas spirit, Iggy? He's so hungry. But he is having fun from being well rested and also having a nice bubble bath. My sister says, I'm cool. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Iggy can have a tablet, watch some videos. Bob can come downstairs. Don't put down the decorations. That's not what we're here for. Black holiday decorations. Sing together. Oh, they can sing together. Oh, that's so nice. Eliza and Bob can actually can finish decorating the tree together. We'll do that with Eliza. Yeah. I literally know some people 
who are pregnant now in my, in my life. I know a lot of people because of Facebook who are married and pregnant at this time. Yes, the one who lost the switch. I'm sorry that you lost your switch, by the way. That's not fun. <laughs> oh no. Welcome back, Chicken Mama. I roll toddlers yelling at yelling for eats. Oof. I feel you on that. My child in this game too, the toddler, Iggy Pancakes, was yelling for food. So I felt samesies. And <laughs> look what he's wearing. Such cute emotes. Thank you. We have holiday emotes. We do. BBTV, we got Christmas emotes. We do indeed. Sometimes toddlers wake up with a moodlet about waking up near a nightlight. And that's happy plus one or two, I think. Okay, thank you. Can you use any bunk, CC bunk beds? There are CC bunk beds. Yes, there are 10,000 tons of them on Tumblr. Yes. You can use a regular CC, you can use CC beds on bunk beds. I've done it before. Even like toddler single beds on bunk beds. <laughs> you look so sad. I like the monster under the bed. I know that's weird. I'm still trying to get my kid bot to be friended. I can't, I don't, I'm never successful with that. I feel so bad. It never works. He also has to go to the bathroom too. So maybe we should buy a squatty potty. You want this outfit? I could, I would, I could totally rock it this right now. Yeah. I would love to wear a nice Christmas tree outfit. It'd be kind of nice to have one. IRL, but I would be so hot and bothered if I had to wear it. I'm like, I can't wear this anymore. I know it's really expensive. I have two switches just because I want it to. I have the regular one, like the switch light and then I have the console. Iggy is angry, really. You really didn't want to be a tree. He said, I want to be an elf instead. Go upstairs and potty train him, please. Potty train your child. Who's calling you? Hugo, I don't want to join the upper cusp. No. I don't want to join your group. Potty train your child. Did he just poop his pants? Did Iggy just poop his pants? He did. Iggy pooped his pants. Great. Love that for me going to just go ahead and um clean him up <laughs> merry christmas sarah how are you doing today welcome in welcome in how are you doing today after your cousin announced she was pregnant everyone literally turned around at the exact same time and looked at me it was really funny actually because i wish i caught it on camera I was like wait do that again <laughs> It's like, what? Oh, we have to wait for Father Winter. He appears around 8 p.m. Okay, so we have to wait until then. We will definitely do some singing together. It's Eliza. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, welcome back, Savvy. Really stressed. Skylar got sick. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope Skylar feels better. Never fun. But Sarah's stream has been going pretty great. We have done a lot of fun things. Um, not only did we have a very bad sentiment with Eliza, we also had a bad sentiment towards our own child. So Bob had to rekindle his relationship with both his ex-wife and his own child. Luckily, it, it was working. It worked in our favor, but Lordy Lou, it was difficult. It was really difficult, but it was worth it. Took a nice, took a nice holiday Christmas card photo. Now we're the singing. Wingle zib, a wingle zibs, weasel comes and dorbs. Wingle zibs, a dab doo, dab doo da dee. Wingle zibs, wingle zibs. You seem fine. Oh, good, good, good. I really love decorating the Christmas tree, honestly, in The Sims. I wish toddlers could decorate, kind of, like, like, pretend to decorate the tree. Light control to change these lights. This light. Oh, I can't change it? Oh. 
fine. Fine, fine, fine. Is it going on your album? Yes. The malicious happening. Collaborating with the Sims team on the album with this one. They're producing that soundtrack for you all to make it very high quality and very good. So coming soon to a store near you. <laughs> Didn't Bob go to university and get together with Angela Pleasant? That was a different save file. Different save file. And I kind of forgot about that one. And now I'm just like, I could have started that. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I forgot about all that. You're bilingual. I didn't know you speak Simlish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I speak Simlish. Garb is a new. Soul Soul? Yibs? Yibs Yibs? Ophi Belay? <laughs> Origins having a sale and everything through, oh, through January 5th? Oh, really? Oh, that's nice, actually. I know Steam is having a sale up until January 5th. Oh, that's nice. So I hope people get to get some sim packs if they've been waiting. Yes. So if, you, if you've been wanting to get some Sims packs, now is the time. Especially if you've been wanting to get the Sims 3. It's also on sale. If you get the entire collection off of Steam, it is $67 USD. I recommend it. Your Roku TV screen is black, but you can hear. You can hear me on your TV, but you can't see anything. Oh no. TV work. Work, TV work. How's that spoiled? Oh, you already ate it. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> hoo 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 hee hee hee. The kids are on sale. That's so weird. I feel like if the kids were on sale, they would be like $2.50. <laughs> That's what I think it, they would be. Unknown caller. Do you canoe? Hang up. I would have laughed if our mother was actually calling us. Camera? Take a photo of Iggy in his Christmas outfit, please do. Iggy, get off of the f get off of your tablet, please. Your mother can take a photo of you. Yes, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. No! Iggy, come over here, please. Don't no, take a photo of Iggy. Of Iggy. In the Christmas attire. That's what I want you to do. Holy moly, that's fantastic. Honestly? Kind of nice. Yep. $63 for all the Sims 3 packs on Steam. You bought Cottage Living for your daughter and she's building a way. Oh, that's so much fun. I really love Cottage Living. It's one of my ultimate favorite packs that I really enjoy playing. Especially for like my, uh, my Let's Play. No, my, oh, you're on your tablet so you can't see, but I can't. But I can't watch stuff on my TV. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Why can't we take a photo? You go over here. Iggy, go over here in the kitchen. Eliza, don't even. Don't even try. I just want a nice photo in the Christmas attire. Eliza, don't drink it. Don't. Go over here. Go over here to your child. Please. Thank you. Take a photo of Iggy pancakes. Please. No. Stop. What are you doing? <gasps> oh. I can zoom in and out. Oh, this is perfect. This is what I want. Oh, this is so adorable. I think that is uh, better than Origin. Oh, yes, it is. I love The Sims 3 now that I have mods and I can make it. And you can make it play with and not crash. It's good. There is a mod called the Smooth Patch mod for The Sims 3 that you can download to make the game run better. I think it's really, really cool. So adorable. I love this. Ah, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna try and play The Sims. Ooh, woo. Nothing will ever be scary as The Sims one phone call. Oh, it won't. I played The Sims one yesterday and I built a whole entire like McMansion in The Sims one. Luckily, I didn't get a phone call during that build session, but oh my gosh. Sims one phone calls are horrifying. Literally scary, but not all reasons. I can't deal with that. Change your pose. Not that one. 
Is it bad that the only Sims game I ever played with The Sims 4? No, not at all. Everyone plays um, different Sims games and experience it in different ways. Because I know a lot of people either weren't born or just didn't know about the other games or weren't even able to play the older ones because of like compatibility and computers and stuff. That's, that's totally fine. Whenever you entered into what into the Sims franchise is all good. Go in here and put this in the. We bought Cottage Living last night and I haven't tried it yet. Just wanted to put it on sale. I think you'll like Cottage Living. I've been playing it for a while and building with it for a lot because I like building cottages. Oh, that's so adorable. That's cute. You download so much food CC, including the eliminate stand. Eliminate stand? Daff Daff? Are you becoming OB 2.0? Hmm? That camera is a mod. It's by um, Arnie. Arnie Plus. It's part of his um, plum fruit mod he made. I could have used the actual phone phone itself, but no. I just did camera. But we do have cameras in the game already that are non-modded. But also, Merry Christmas, Primrose. How are you? <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Wait, what? Eliza's mother says, hey, I got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor and I appreciate your kindness and friendship. Want to see what it is? Mother. Yes, she came over without me asking. Wow, come on inside. We still have a very hate relationship with Eliza and Iggy, but I want to complete the scenario so badly. So Iggy, where are you? Oh, you're right here. You walked the... Iggy walked... Oh my goodness. Iggy did a whole 360 with that. Walking throughout the entire house. Just to get to sit down. Dear Lord, no. Maybe I have like one gig of CC. Ah, uh, interesting. One gig, you say. I love that so So cute. Okay. You know, maybe you can get up to like eight gigs. I have eight gigs of CC and mods in my game as of right now. <laughs> it never hurts to try, right? No? I can make a snow pail with Iggy. Oh no, we're doing that right now. Iggy, come on outside, bestie. We're making a snow pail right now. I didn't know you could do that with toddlers. No, come out here, child. Child, come out here. Over here. Play outside. Our mother gave us gummy bear pancakes. That sounds unappetizing to me. Don't run inside. Just because there's a blizzard. You know what? No, there's not. There's no blizzard. There's just heavy snow. It's fine. There's just heavy snow. Make a snow pail with Iggy pancakes, please, with your child. Iggy pancakes. If you do not make a snow pail with me, I'm going to cry. Please. Make a snow pail. <laughs> That's all I want. And even I didn't I don't even want to know how much CC mods I have in The Sims 2 and 3. Well, here's the thing. For me, I have a lot of CC and mods backed up for The Sims 2. I have over 300 gigabytes of custom content and mods backed up for The Sims 2. Sims 3, not that many. Make a snow pail. Make a snow pail. Make a snow pail. Iggy, where are you going? Where, Iggy, what are you doing? Don't run away. Make a snow pail with your father. Please. You can conti continue. Go over here. Iggy, do it. Please. I want this. I want to see it. The other day, Agnes from Catered. Your Sims wedding? Is she, is she, is, is she good? Is she all right? Who died? Oh. <gasps> Don't tell me. Exit. Not Bob's father dying on Christmas Day. That is. I hate this. I literally hate it. I literally hate that. Bob's father died. 
on Christmas. I've seen a lot of mods for poses, never downloaded them because I don't know how they work. How do they use them in poses? So you need two things. You need Andrew's pose player mod, and then you need the sim teleportation mod. I believe if I... Yeah, it's Sims for a pose player is what it's called. There it is. Here you go. Yeah, Bob's father died on Christmas. That's just rude. I didn't want to go out like this. How long do you have left? You've got... Sims 1's the only one I, I don't have CC mods for. I deleted my CC for the Sims 1. Not Eliza's mom having one day left. The day after Christmas? You've got to be kidding me. Merry Crisis. That's what this is all about. That was unexpected. At least we took a photo of him before he died. <laughs> we have a photo of him. At least. At least we have a photo. That's all that matters. You know, before before she before the grandmother dies, let's have Eliza take a photo with her mother at least, because she only has one day left. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> Bob does know. Bob knew his father, and it, it's sad that they went out this way. Bob, <laughs> that's not what I want. Bob is very sad and just very very tensed. Oh, the bitterness because he's sad, alone, and it's just, oh, not what he wanted at all. I feel so bad for Bob, honestly, and Iggy. Come out here. Do you want to come over here too? Please come over here. Come chat over here. Is it fair that Bob saw it down Christmas? Can we get a poll for that, please and thank you? A poll, please and thank you for that. That would be nice. Take a selfie with. No, she's right there. Share a secret. Share a secret. She's right there. Take a selfie with. What do you mean? Don't tell me she's leaving. There's no way. What a way to go on Christmas Day. He's very sad from losing the parents. It's so hurtful, honestly. Kind of rude. Allison Humphrey, Eliza's mother, lives to see another day. Take a photo of? No, take a photo with. Yes, Allison Humphrey. Iggy, if you would like to go inside with your father, he needs some comfort now. Bob needs some comfort. Oh my gosh. Iggy, go inside. Iggy, go inside. Take a photo with your mom. Merry Crisis. Literally, is it fair for Bob's father to die on Christmas? No, it is not. It's kind of rude. Gotta include the, qu the question mark. Literally, Mary Crisis? <laughs> literally? They literally look like twins, and that's horrifying. I brighten up the photo. There we go. Ah, this is not ideal. That would be fantastic, shirt. Wait, Mary Crisis? Question mark? That would be a kind of a great on a t-shirt, honestly. Merry Crisis? Yes. Okay, we have one hour left until Father Winter shows up. We need to make a grand meal for this lovely holiday, but I'm going to check mark that saying we already did it ahead of time. But we're going to have Iggy go over here to spread up some holiday cheer and open up some gifts for Iggy because Iggy definitely loves presents. And Iggy deserves some new stuff for him. Yeah. Bob, dad's dying. Need a bowl of oatmeal and hot biscuits. Same. Iggy, come time to open up your presents. Your very first one. Also, let me save my game. Manda Micro, welcome in. Good morning. I hope your day is going pretty well. Spring Sims equal Merry Chaos. More like it, honestly. Wait, who said yes? Who said yes? 
That's some Bob slander right there. That's some Bob slander right there. <sighs> oh my goodness, who said yes? Eliza, you can also get a gift as well. I can't help it, but <laughs> I can help it, but I always laugh at the worst moments. Okay, literally me. <laughs> but Manda Micro, we are playing Surviving the Holiday Scenario with Bob and Eliza Pancakes. And we are simply trying to literally survive the holidays with these Sims. Because everyone hates Bob, apparently. The way that I did it. Oh, here's Father Winter. He's very angry towards Bob. He really is. But we're going to go say hi to Father Winter, ask for a present, and share the love. <laughs> Tell us how you feel. Tell us how you feel. You haven't tried this scenario yet? It, I would have to say this scenario is pretty difficult. When you're trying to boost your relationship with certain sims. Because it is hard. The only way I figured out that would be way easier is by taking photos with those sims. That way your relationship gets boosted up even higher. And I feel like that's like cheating half of the time. We're gonna actually put this on the kitchen, on the dining room table. We're going to call the meal for everyone. Call the meal so everyone can get pumpkin pie. Don't put him to bed. Well, it is 9 p.m. So I guess he should go to bed. Does he know Father Winter at least? He doesn't. No, I want him to know Father Winter. Help, ask for a present. Please do. I've tried almost every single scenario so far already. Run the holidays, the money one, love after a breakup, the toddler one. And there was another one, but I forget what the other one was called. Everyone grab pumpkin pie. Bob is eating pumpkin pie by himself. Oh, Bob does not deserve this. Oh, well, he's happy now. You can make some biscuits. Ooh. Ooh, I love biscuits. I love, I have some biscuits in my fridge that I made the other day. And I have to say, they were quite good. They were like the uh, fluffy ones where you can like peel them apart. Not the other ones you usually can buy from the grocery store. Those are really fun. I like those. Oh, he can't get the roux. He literally cannot move because he's stuck. Father Winter is stuck. Well, Father Winter, if you would like to move, just say so. I will put this lovely thing right here. So you can move around the house. There we go. Now he's a moving and shaking. Iggy, get out the bed, please. Get out the bed. Wait, is he putting stuff over here? Where did he go? Oh, I was like, where did he go? I thought Father Winter like straight up left. Ask for a present. Iggy needs something. Iggy needs some joy in his life. Honestly, he really does. We're going to bring him to see Father Winter. What are you doing? Don't pick him up. Go take a nice little hot bath. Eliza's asleep. We've already basically cured our relationship with Eliza, I'm pretty sure. We kind of didn't, kind of didn't. We'll be more acquaintances with them, so we'll take more photos of them just to boost it up. That's the potato pie. I'm still waiting for someone to make a default deployment so I can... Dem they can name, they can be named Sweet Potato Pie. I love Sweet Potato Pie. My favorite thing to eat during the holidays. Especially like Thanksgiving. Oh, poor Iggy. So sad for him. There's love, he needs some love. Oh, the winter, where are you going? Give me some love. Oh, Iggy needed this. Wait, what's the original name of the pie? Pumpkin pie. It's originally called pumpkin pie, but that's not it. I was like, what happened? Oh, Ooh, my game, I swear, that was wild. Anyway, but yeah, the original is called pumpkin pie. I usually make it all the time in this game just because we don't have sweet potato pie. But why do I feel like Icy Mun Mun? Who's a Sims 4 modder who makes like CC food? 
Why do I feel like they made sweet potato pie? I feel like they did, but I don't remember if they did or not. We're gonna change the diaper. Then we're gonna do a little belly laugh for you to cheer you up, and then we're gonna take a photo of you. Oh, little Iggy, little Iggy Azalea. <laughs> when I first saw the name Iggy, I'm like, Iggy Azalea, is that you? I respectfully do not like pumpkin pie. I've never had pumpkin pie IRL, ever. Iggy is upstairs. He is not down here. Oh, Iggy's coming down. He had both and I hate sweet potatoes. What? Excuse me? What? Oh, successful. Successful, successful. Everyone had a good winter fest today. Taking a picture while he's smelly. It seems perfect to me. Yes. I've never had pumpkin pie ever. And uh, Kana, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell and is fine. Morning. <laughs> but happy holidays. Not a modder, but I have tons of CC food. You know, I do love CC food. I want to download a few more of those because I think they're really fun to download for variety. I see Mun Mun actually made an air fryer recently, which I thought was very funny. That was really cool of them. Oh, you just don't like sweet potatoes at all. Understandable. Yeah, pumpkin pie once, my mistake. Poor Bob makes me super sad. He's like, Mary, uh, this mess to me, literally. We are we gonna help your mom? All good, all good? You just woke up, so not too bad. That's good. We have a soup maker. A soup maker? And a bunch of Korean food? Mm. You just downloaded the air fryer? That's funny. Yeah, I see Mun Mun made it. <laughs> Which I think is so freaking cool. A functioning air fryer. Look at this. A functioning air fryer. I'm not gonna be shooting for another 15 minutes. 15 minutes left. Download. A functional air fryer. Wait a minute, hold up. That's a different air fryer. Air fryer. Someone else made another one, apparently. I see Mun Mun. Where'd you go? I see Mun Mun. Type in that in Google. There we go. Yeah, so people make, there's two air fryers. Like one's like alpha like and the other one's like Max's match like. You have hard boiled eggs, two rows, fried calamari, fried fish filet, air, like apple fritters, sweet potato fries, potato fries, fried onion rings, chocolate brownies, chicken cutlets. Jumbo shrimp. Pretty cool. If you all want to download it, you can download it. Here's a link. Isn't that supposed to be the one where they hate each other, but full romance? Yes. The Surviving the Holidays one? Yes. You love sweet potatoes so much. I can't believe that's, it's my birthmark. It's your birthmark? Really? I love sweet potato fries. They're my favorites. Okay, we're going to remove the present pile. It is after Christmas and Bob's father died on Christmas, by the way. This is your first time spending Christmas alone. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that about non-binary. I'm very sad, but your stream has really, has really helped. I'm so glad you can spend your holiday season here on stream. I'm glad it can make your day better by streaming. You like the pumpkin flavored thing, but I also adore sweet potatoes. Mm. Just put it down. I'll tell you how that works. <laughs> I also have Icy Mama's canning station, but I haven't used it yet. I've been wanting to do a mod review of all of my favorite toddler based objects that I've recently been seeing. Like Panda Sama CC has a lot of toddler related content. 
And someone recently made a functioning crib for toddlers. This family already just me? <laughs> My family hasn't arrived yet. Keyword yet. Bimbido fries. What is this yummy thing I've never heard of? It's like regular, you know, fries that use like potato fries, but sweet potato fries. They are really good. I have to say you should you should eat them. They're really tasty. Really tasty. You can find them at the grocery store. Like they you can make them yourself with regular sweet potatoes if you want to. Or you can buy them at the grocery store frozen, then cook them yourself. My parents eat them all the time, you know? I've been dealing with this chaos from my sister. I can't. Oh my goodness. Oh, our snow pail that Iggy and Bob made together. Oh, that's so adorable. The little snow pail. Cool. Now, all we got to do is basically be in good graces with Eliza. Help forbidden words. Imply her mother's a llama. Just for the sake of it, because... Um, ask for about her hobbies. Do a little bit of romance. We're going to compliment her appearance for the sake of it. Yes. And then we're going to take some photos with her. Get a selfie with Eliza. Yes. Your family isn't here yet. They only called to tell me I'm late. They're supposed to come here. Oh, <laughs> it's like, you're late. I'm like, I'm sorry. Excuse me. You're supposed to come here. Where do you get some photos from? Well... I know, I think you can get them from like Aldi's or like Schnucks. Sweet potato fries or actually um, Walmart. There's a lot of recipes out there. There's Culver's has them, Red Robin's has them, TJ Friday's has them. Before it has them now. Wait, what if I type in Walmart? Oh, they also have sweet potato waffle fries as well. Yeah, you can get them from Walmart. Walmart. You can Instacart it. Yeah. Walmart has them. The regular ones. And sweet potato waffle fries. Sweet potato tater tots. They also have the crispy ones too. The crinkle cut fries sweet potatoes. Oh, they're so good. I recommend them. I love this fry conversation. It's so good. I also love curly fries. I think they have sweet potato curly fries too. Also, hello, curly fries. How are you? <laughs> uh, yep, they, they have uh, sleep. No, they're just regular fries. Oh, why did I think they had sweet potato curly fries? They're just regular curly fries, but they're seasoned. I'm putting that on my grocery list. Sounds good. It's really good. You'll like them. Today is a solo day for you. Just some streaming, cooking and cleaning at my apartment. And then tomorrow I see my family. Oh, nice. My days are consist of cleaning my apartment because my parents are coming here. So we'll be doing that, actually. There's no negative sentiments. Do we have any negative sentiments? Feastering grudge. How long do we have left of this? Nothing. They're on their way now and they're all irritated with me because they forgot. I can't. <laughs> it's like you're supposed to come here. I'm not supposed to remind you. The audacity. Families these days, let me tell you. Remove this one too and remove this one too. Yeah. They don't need any negative uh, sentiments. I love how I really love the thin fries. I've never had thin fries before, but here they're good. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Surviving the holidays. We did it, besties. I just had to delete some grudges they had. Anyway. The way to complete the scenario is romantically being enemies with benefits or having no negative sentiments being friends. So 
Yeah, that is how it basically works, technically. And I think it's, like, really cool. Surviving the holidays to complete the scenario. Game time elapsed five days. It took us five days to complete the scenario. The outcome, no hard feelings. Sims are friends without any negative sentiments. Interesting. But you know what's even worse, though? Eliza's mom dies today. Bob's father died yesterday on Christmas. And he's still sad for the next two days, and so is Iggy. Eliza feels nothing. But she's still surrounding some materialistic trait. He didn't have that before. No, madam, you know what you can do? Take a walk. Go jogging. I cannot believe this. The absolute audacity. But we did it, besties. All the hype in the world, we finally completed the scenario. I want a new one. I want a scenario based on elders. Life after retirement. <gasps> oh my gosh. What if we got a scenario for elders called life after retirement? Retire from your job after so many years, and now you have to live your life as a retiree. Dealing with grandkids, regular kids, maybe decide you want to go back to university and learn some new skills, brush up on your old skills. Wouldn't that be so cool? I would love that so much, but thank you all so much. Scenarios are like always like my favorites. Like just doing like these like challenges are really fun to do. Like he's just so sound asleep. He's still angry because he's hungry. Wah, wah, wah. We have leftover food, don't worry. We have leftover black and white cookies and clam chowder. You know what? You can eat clam chowder, my bestie friend. That idea would be so cool. People made custom-made scenarios. And here's my thing. I want to learn how to make those. I'm going to ask Kawaii Stacy on how she made her streamer scenario. Because I want to make my own. Because I have so many ideas for, for scenarios, but I can't make them my own. I don't know how to mod that stuff. That is a gigantic painting or print. I don't know where to put. Oh, we can put it right here. Oh, Iggy in that nice little Christmas outfit. And Eliza's mom got that photo. Seems good quality to me. That's good. I did everything that I wanted to, I wanted to do today. I wanted to make sure that we were able to share the holidays with Eliza and Bob and their parents before they before they died because I knew that they were going to be elders and they they were going to die soon so at least we got that and that's all that matters to me did it besties not Xavier calling us from the grave not like this uh-uh no can we at least get his grave did he die at home Let's go get his grave. Let's go travel to his house. But he won't even be there because no one's in that house. Oh no. He used to he used to live here. If his grave is outside, that's great. If it's not, then we're like, okay, we'll move it outside. It's so sad. The grave outside? Is his grave inside? If he died somewhere else, I'm going to be livid. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He didn't die at, at his house. Oh my God. I wish the game would tell you. Well, yeah, I wish the game would tell you where Grissom died. Because I want to grab his grave. That's what I wanted. In profile we had an adoring a sentiment with our father oh that's nice bob just wants the best for xavier and thinks he's so wonderful i'm going to literally die from just uh sim command i wish it would really literally tell me where he died that'd be so nice logging 
for me? No, I guess it won't tell me where he died, but it's okay. Not really. Eliza's not even sad at all. She's not sad one bit. Oh, Bob, you are out here in the deep, dark cold. I'm going to freeze. Nancy, where is you? Nancy was wearing a crop top sweater. Sims are out here wearing the uttermost weird outfits, and I don't understand why. It makes no sense. Oh, I want to show you the house that I built in The Sims 1. I built this the other day. Oh, my God. It's oh, there we go. Yeah. I built this house in The Sims 1 the other day. It's a nice McMansion home. And you know what I'm sad about? I opened up my game wrong. And I couldn't save this house. So what I'm basically going to have to do is rebuild this entire house all over again. To get a... Decent thumbnail. Kind of. But I built this house yesterday. In The Sims 1. It is possible. A little big mansion. I plan to upload that video on January 1st. Start of the new year. I recorded it yesterday. You'll see my Christmas tree in the back. But yeah, I have to rebuild it all over again. Because I didn't run my game as administrator. And when you don't run it as at a, at a as an admin, or at least on my computer, it doesn't save the house or any progress. So I have to rebuild the house all over again. Luckily, I only have to do the outside just to get something decent. The inside doesn't really matter. At least for me, it doesn't. But still, crazy. Uh, rip, Ripperoni. I read that as... I read that there's a mod that lets you summon the urn. Really? Wait, what mod? Hello from Malaysia. Poopy Berry, welcome in. How are you doing today? Your day's going pretty well. Is it MCC? Summon Sim. Oh, I do not want to cleanse the dead. Mm -mm. List, no ghosts. Oh, not no ghosts. I want the ghost. Still here, he could be dead. Savior. Mm -hmm. But hello, welcome in. We were playing the surviving the holiday scenario and we just completed it with the pancake family and it went really, really well. Everyone loves each other except Bob's dad died. Blink, oh my gosh. Oh, little Miss Sam. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to download that then because we played this save file because the other one didn't work. So, you know how we were playing the original Bob and Eliza pancakes when they were broken up and they were living in separate houses? Well, I'm downloading all those mods because I need them. That's good. That's good. Thank you, Dad, for that. Appreciate it. But anyway, besties, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is save the game once more and uh call it here for now but what we're gonna do is do the lovely clip of the day to end off the holiday for christmas eve because i think it's appropriate <laughs> but uh yeah i think it's only fa but can we get an o slash raise your hand and chat if you are ready for the clip of the day because I sure am. I'm ready. I'm ready for the clip of the day. I hope you all are. Because this clip is from Animal Crossing from last year. When I was when I was raising money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And now it's just like. Mm. This was like actually around midnight. So I was like delirious at this point. My family just arrived. I'm exhausted already. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. Good luck bestie. Good luck. All right, let me unmute my tab. Put the screen in full. Pause this lo-fi music. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. What the? I was like, what did that do? Anyway, clip of the day. Let's see. I was literally going to lose my marbles. Do you uh, see? Kissing before marriage in this economy? Ew. 
Ew. I was literally going to lose my marbles. Uh, kissing before marriage in this economy? Ew. I was literally... Ew. Okay, that was disgusting. My voice... I think I streamed... Did I stream for 12 hours that day or was it six hours? I don't remember. All I know, I streamed for a very long time. And I think it was also, yeah, I think it was. I think I streamed for 12 hours that day. And I could not believe this because I spent the, like the last six hours or so of my day hunting for Marshall. And I kid you not. Six hours of hunting for Marshall. 110 tickets in, couldn't find them. And then I come back to my villages kissing before marriage. Kind of rude, honestly. Just rubbing it in my face. They're having a good time, but I can't. Your jaw dropped over it, though. It really did. I saw that stream and it was very funny. It was just so hilarious. I'm just like, really? You're doing the uttermost today, like right now, when I'm sad? The absolute audacity. These these villagers are crazy. Luckily, I restarted my island, so I don't see their faces anymore. But the quote of the besties is, oh, hello, sir. How are you? You love my sweater? Thank you so much. I thought it was uh, appropriate for the lovely uh, holiday season to wear something red and festive. I have my Christmas tree back there with Winnie the Pooh, reindeer. And my Builder Bear. And then I also have my St. Jude. St. Judah pop up book. So, yeah. It's been real, honestly. I've been, I've been wearing sweaters all this month because personally, I think they're fun. Ooh, have fun making deviled eggs. But before we all go on a fun Tivities day, we are going to definitely do a bit of a rainy raid if you are wanting to stick around for some more holiday-esque funsies for another stream. I will send you off on your way for storesies. And my friends, I think it'll be really fun to send some love, hype, and positivity to my good friend, Sorusness, who is playing The Sims 4. And they're making a Christmas movie, apparently, in The Sims. I wish it was weather weather, honestly. For me, it is not. But um, it's going great. Oh, I didn't read her whole title. She says, let's make Christmas movie characters as Sims. So she's currently making two of the evil crooks from Home Alone right now in The Sims 4. So if you want some more holiday decor, some funsies, some cozy times, then... I'll send you all over there. But thank you all for hanging out with me on this fine, lovely winter season. I will be back on Tuesday for a new stream. So I'm not streaming tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday, or Monday. So I'll be taking a break to relax and enjoy the holidays with my friends and my family. And, um, but I'll be in Discord. Don't worry, I'll hang out in there and uh, just chill. Ah, besties, thank you all for being here, hanging out with me for the funsies of funtivities, and I shall see you on Tuesday or on Discord. Bye-bye!